back by the door. No, oh, wait, no, it was the last wave. Sigmar! Help us! See? Once in a while, you can roll a 20 on a prayer. And it'll work. Ammunition. Let's see if I can get the crossbow for Krillin. I got a crossbow like day one, so. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> so that's why I couldn't extract. When last time I played this, I couldn't find the extraction. Like the the goal was showing up. And so I'd look up, run all around, then a horde came and I was fighting off the horde and trying to get out, and no one came back to help me. So I was I was just lost. But that time I found it. They're like, find the door. I'm like, there's like five doors are all locked and shut. <laughs> you know, what am I supposed to do? So, yeah. I just want to play with people. Tell General Solo this might take a while. If there's anything to recover, we'll find it. But the damage is extensive. We got a lot of wreckage to sift through. I'll let him know. Regroup with the others when you're done. Target on the trail ahead. Customize items, load up. Need a slice. Looking for enemies. I've got eyes on two strike teams. One at the bunker, the other patrolling near the fallen walker. Good spotting agent. We'll take it from here. Okay, so I have to shoot that guy, kill those dudes. What's taking so long? Hydraulics are busted. Explosion must have welded them shut. Can you open it? I think so. General Solo did a real number here. To be honest, I doubt there's anything inside worth salvaging. Won't know until we get inside. Three, two, one. This turned out a lot better than Hoth. Yeah, this circuitry is fried. It's not over I'm yet. gonna attempt. Night, night. This way, in a way, I'm not killing everybody. Which is also nice. Scan ahead. More rebels. Wait for my signal. Yes, Commander. Friggin' filthy rebels. Let's kill them all. I know someone's here. Keep your guard up. Keep your eyes peeled. Don't be so far. Ow. Why is it every game that fires like the most dangerous thing you can touch? I mean, it sucks, yes, but you're not gonna just instantly start dying in real life from stepping on it with your boots on. Don't let this strike team recover anything.
<laughs> oh, one shot, three kills. All luck, no skill. Yeah. I think we're good. Poor little rebel, all by himself. That's all of them. Regroup and prepare to move out. What is this Del Mark I've been seeing? Or is that our shooter? Oh, so he moved all the way over here. I got it. That is kind of a sweet rifle, though. I would love to use that in multiplayer. If it were tap, it's good, I should say. Clear. Why are you taking your helmets okay. off? Okay. There's a copy all of them. There's rebel commanders must have already moved on. We should, too. We're near platform four. Is there a shuttle there? No, TIE fighters only. Even better. We should move carefully. We don't know how many rebels are out here. No, no, we'll deal with them the same as the rest. Today we wipe out that scum once and for all. Do you now? Look alive, agents. We can grieve later. Right now, we need to move. Over 200,000 people just died. We need just to, have to pay respect. Secure those TIE fighters. That's our only way back to the Corvus. Agent Mika. Give them proud here as a salute. Yes, Commander. Agent Hask, contact. You will not be forgotten. I need to speak My with brothers and sisters. Yes, Commander. Patching you through now. Admiral. Infernal Squad is evacuating Endor. What's the situation? Vice Admiral Sloan has ordered a retreat. We're pulling out of the system. Make it to your ship, Commander. Survive. I will send you the rendezvous coordinates. Yes, sir. We are we'll the only one in the first person. I don't understand how this happened. The trap was perfect. Someone made a mistake. High Command overlooked something crucial again. No. There has to be more to it. The rebels were outnumbered and outgunned. It's simple. The Emperor underestimated the strength of our enemy, and we paid the price. Commander, the... Permission to speak freely. Granted. I know we're alone, Aiden, but that, that sounded treasonous. <gasps> Look to the sky, Hask. It's not treason if it's the truth. Over. <laughs> How do I change my arrows? That was annoying. <laughs> well, at least I figured out how to fire the dang poison I was trying to fire earlier. It was about her boobs, too. Yeah. Okay, well, then you kind of have me. Fire! Fire! Up there! Look! Oop. Oh, 
Oh crap. God, oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm doing good, Mina. <laughs> I missed you though. How've you been? Like I've been busy. That, that wasn't even fair. One gun for one kill. Oh, I gotcha. So you gotta get like every bullet on. Yeah, I don't want to even count that. It was just straight up stupid. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I do this. For science! Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, pretty much what that happened. Okay. Does everything just accidentally tapped one button? Note to self, don't press shift. <laughs> shift bad. Shift very bad. Just restart that whole part. Mm. This way there is a speedy crouch. Ugh. Speedy crouching move type of thing. Night night puppy. Darn Nazi dogs. I could only imagine what his armor would look like after you look at him and he's just covered in like screwdrivers and plates and helmets that he's duct taped to his body. Suck it, noob. Half the bullets. BJ is shirtless 90% of the game, yeah. So he builds himself metal t shirts. I don't think he heard that. <laughs> Somehow. Sweet, dude. Free armor. I mulch the poor guy. Nothing but a t shirt. Catch. Oh, that was your face. They're stalking and then there's just teleporting. Oh god dang it. I don't think so, little missy. Ah. Oh. 
I wasn't doing half bad for having an invisible gun. <laughs> I have no idea why the handgun was completely vanished like that. Uh, that's a death. I'll take going. It's not even that hard. It's just they keep auto respawning unless I move over there. Hey, how's it going? Alright, so sorry about kind of starting a little late, early. I don't know. I had to, uh, I was on the phone. Alright. Uh, this was supposed to already be done, but I forgot to. Uh, Alright, so finally watched Tenet this week. Tenet was actually really good. I am very behind on that sort of thing. Um, what else did I do? through like two things uh, alright what's this I got internet just fine I have to restart the computer yes. um alright uh da, 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 da. so we're gonna do Fallout 76 today anyways Um, we're going to be playing with some friends. I think Dragon wants to play. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, what else? There's something else. And my brain is just not working. Like, I just woke up like 20, 30 minutes ago. Not even. <laughs> so I'm freaking exhausted. Like, I am way early compared to when I've been streaming for this sort of thing. Like, I've been going at, like, 8, and right now it's, like, 6, which is supposed to be my normal time, but, oh, man, I'm so tired. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do. Try to find a... So, the charity alert, I still haven't been able to find anything for that. And Streamlabs keeps thinking I need tips after all these freaking years, as if I haven't been using them for almost 10 years. Um... Ugh, gross. And didn't do anything. Ugh. The fact that it's just so plain. And default. Ugh. You can go somewhere with that. Never the default gift. There you are. Never. Hey. Yeah, sorry. I was on the phone. How do I... It's not letting me delete it now. Why are you like this? So much. Uh, because you touch yourself and I? I do not. It's during the day. <laughs> Alright. So that's not working. Alright. You know what? There it goes. Now let me delete them. Alright, cool. And I'll fix them later. <laughs> Just leave this page here so I the remember. Alright, I'll be in a game in a sec. I'll invite you. Mm. I think I'm just gonna kick back to the main campaign. Shipped over. Failed to link you, but that was a nice account. What's going on? Why is there like not an internet connection today while there's an internet connection.
be able to restart the game PC. Oh no. There it goes. No reason. Doesn't make any sense. Adventure. Speak that way about my wife! Phil, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to put her down. No! You can't! Stand aside, you fool, before she... Your launch codes can expire? Oh, that's lame. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I care, but... Same time. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Slow down, all of a sudden. Come on, she's almost uh -huh. dead. Just finish her. Kill her. There we go. What are you doing there, Slick? <laughs> I'm starting a lemonade stand. Oh yeah? How much? Oh, the AP that? thing. Just I forgot the death. chainsaw works off AP. <laughs> it's mm, stupid. This is good stuff. How'd you right. make it? Uh, well, it's made of sugar, days. water, and one special ingredient. My little brother's tears. You out of your mind? No, I'm just doing like my mom and dad told me. They said, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Problem is, life hasn't given me many lemons. Well, my brother is another story. He's practically a lemon factory. What happened to him? Well, for one, he has an older brother that's a real jerk and beats him up all the time. It's kind of a raw deal, I know. But it's in the older brother contract. I've got an obligation. 
So, what happens if your brother toughens up? He won't be crying forever. Oh, there's lots of other options. Like the used car my Uncle Herman got last month. My mom says it's a real lemon. So next time he changes his oil, I'm going to try putting some of the leftovers into my next batch. I don't know, Slick. <laughs> Why not try actual lemon? Well, my parents say I also got to think outside the box. What's you giggling That's at? the only way I'm going to get Fucking rich. radio. Problem is, when I went to the market, all the lemons were in boxes. Yet? Not a single yeah, one outside I, of it. That's I'm a damn you miss, I looked it at your stream you idea, the, uh, Oh, you that must have been so... Well, there's a lot of shit popping up at the beginning. That's what I was like. That must have been one of the things that popped up, and I was like, "That's a swell idea, Ali." But where are we gonna get cans from? Motor oil cans, you dummy, for your uncle's lemon. Oh gosh, I didn't think of that. That's a lemon in a lemon. That sucks. Too bad, boys. Pass me lead so I don't accidentally go into your instances. Wait, where's all my health? Fuck. How's it going, Myrtle? Oh, just picking flowers for the wedding. the wedding. Lady. Wedding? Who's getting right. married? That's none of your beeswax. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. That girl you like, Mary? She and Bobby Thompson are getting hitched. Mary and Bobby? The school bullies? Myrtle, that does hurt. It hurts a whole bunch. Sorry, I meant to say it wouldn't hurt me. Well, we gotta break them up. My future depends on it. Hmm, you could try poisoning the wedding cake. Myrtle, you scare me sometimes. I was thinking of something less, I don't know, evil? Oh, fine. What if we made it so the groom saw the bride before the wedding? You do that, and the marriage is destined to fail. So an unhappy marriage, okay, cool. followed by a divorce, huh? Not ideal, but I'll take it. All right. The wedding is gonna happen near the jungle gym at 2 p.m. Mary's gonna go down the slide and take the monkey bars Where's to the, the altar. Overseers? All you gotta do yeah. is convince Bobby to chase you to the slide before then. Be sure to see Mary along the way. How do I do that? Make fun of his mama or something. I don't know. All right. I'm gonna do that now. Oh, Hello. there it is. Was that George you were talking to? Hey, Mary. That was George, all right. He's heading on over to the playground to pick a fight with Bobby. Bobby? I don't like him. What are they fighting over, anyway? Don't know. Say, wanna have a pretend wedding? Sure. Sounds like fun. Great. Take these flowers. I'll go get a priest. The one, the only, Le Fantoma! A bright day sees a courts and underwear, earning a modest living. Long but on by night, sees a master of disguise that can never be known as the Phantom. Did you hear, Felicia? Someone robbed millionaire Rex Ruthless, disguised as his favorite prostitute. Do you think it might be the Phantom? I wouldn't know you. I'm just a lowly stenographer. Uh, by the way, Alan, I bought you a gift for your birthday. A gold watch. Why do I feel like I'm doing no Although damage to this little guy? I got it wrong. The initials say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Of course. It stands for Righteous Richter. Richter means judge in German. I didn't know that. Are your ancestors German? Sure. Whatever. Now, what does the paper say about this mm. phantom? Well, we they go. say she's a master thief. And a skilled impersonator. Some say <sighs> last night's nice. job was just a warm-up. They say the real target are the crown jewels, which arrived from London last week. The crown jewels do sound lovely. Thank you, Richter. I'll see you tomorrow.
Yeah, I suppose I could just walk that direction. That Hopefully was I don't run into more of the Chinese boss. You think the crown jewels would be better guarded? Oh, but they are, my purple purloiner. I should have known you'd show up. The Dark Rodent in the flesh. Or in the fur, I suppose. Although I guess I was right the first time. You're not actually a rodent. He just smells like one. And don't forget me, his ward, Falcon Boy! Oh, right. You. You know, Falcons technically eat rodents, so I don't think that's a good name for you. It's a thousand times better than La Fantoma. Those aren't even words. Actually, it's Spanish for the Phantom. Anyways, I'm not arguing with you. You are clearly an idiot. As for you, Dark Rodent, it seems you left your good sense in your other utility belt. And what makes you say that, my villainous vixen? Because you're a vigilante, and you don't have the authority to arrest me. And if you serve as witness to my trial, I'll have your testimony thrown out. On account we could of make or join a casual team, which she would give us a bonus intelligence, Bruce? which gives a uh, bonus there? XP gain. Yeah, Falcon boy, how many Aren't times we in a casual not to use my something? Real name. We're in a sorry, Bruce. friend. I mean, the dark rodent? We're in a friend right, team, do but again. public teams, now, anybody can I? join, but they get Actually, bonuses. Actually, she escaped while you were yelling at me. <laughs> now really the cops are on their way. Yeah, Please let the out. commissioner know what happened. No, it's like she said. We're technically It doesn't really too. matter. But... In fact, we'd better get out of here. To the fat vertible. Raiders, settlers. Oh, so you could be friends with the raiders. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. REI Motion Pictures presents The Maltese Mutant, a hard-boiled detective story about crime, murder, and the pursuit of justice. Our story begins in an old bar in the shadows of Gotham, where crime is rampant and corruption even more so. But somewhere in the stink of backroom deals and cheap cigars, our detective catches a whiff of something familiar. A okay, lead. so I gotta lead the team in order to join it. The man they call the nose. Or now, set it up. is that any way to address you, yeah. gentlemen? I asked you a question, Pops. And I mean to answer it all in due time. But first, so I can I lead want you team to sit and then down, go. Detective. Have a drink. I prefer to stand. You're Great a public. And now, if I tell you to use the toilet, if you go you into a public team, right in yeah, pants. you can stand if you Boom. wish, but I'll have you know I don't. Talk I have don't X1 drink. bonus Why is that? <laughs> because I believe alcohol mm -hmm. is the only thing that makes a man honest. Also, if I need to make a run for it, it would help I win? your knees were wobbly. Fine, but I yes. don't drink brandy. And I did. Fuck you. Brandy <laughs> is my ex-wife's name. Now you've made me depressed. Hello, Skinwalker. I'm not feeling very Skinwalker yet. I am he. Almost a Wendigo. Wait, why am I wearing that? Oh, that explains why I've been getting my ass kicked for like the last 20 minutes. Yes. What? I'm actually wearing a golf outfit over all my stuff. Oh. No. Oh, if you have something on in your outfits, it's oh, never mind. I see that now. Wait, I was just getting my ass kicked because I'm bad. <laughs> yeah, the outfits don't affect your like uh, defensive from your armor. It just changes how you look. Well, I'm still gonna just think in my brain that uh, yeah, the reason why those robots and everything and and we're kind of kicking my butt because I, I was in a exchange. golf outfit. You mentioned something to that effect. What do you want exactly? You were going well, golf. It's regarding that case you worked. Yeah, I just went into a basement that had girl. like a oh. underground little putting thing going on. That's right. Ooh. For contaminating the crime scene, the chief I chewed me out for tossing my cigarettes on the bottom. Drop. Something about forensics or some other egghead bullshit. And I told him a real detective doesn't need science to solve crimes. He needs a shot of whiskey, a dame in his arms, and window blinds to let the shadows scatter across his face when he kisses her. I see. <laughs> and is it also true you touched the murder weapon without even using your glove? Sure, I had to get a feel for it. Get in the murderer's head, so to speak. Then the chief threw a fit, said everything I did was against the rules. And when I told him where to stick his rules, he suspended me without pay. If you're suspended without pay, what do you do for money? I don't do anything. That's why I'm going to need you to pay for this drink. All right. Uh... Don't touch that dial. Also, when you're in a team, you can go to your perk cards and share 
uh, first with people on your team. Like you need more help. Here he's done back if it was a he was about to set out on a journey to recover the piece when a knock came at his door. Hello, Brandy. Hello, you detective. Here? What are you doing saying there's here? gold Shouldn't everywhere. You be busy teaching some private eye how to whistle? Like I've if always you don't look said, close detective, enough, you'll miss what you're looking hard. for. You just put your lips I together. Look like a I already knew yeah. that long before I ever met you. Just you do wait. you? I've never actually seen you do it. Yeah. But I accidentally made a guy kill himself yesterday, uh, last time I played. It's gonna say yesterday, but I was like, that's three days ago, four days ago. <laughs> huh? Um, so one of the settlers, you know how you can interact with them and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, one of them was like, you gotta drink, literally gave him like a whole bottle of bourbon. He's like, alright, cool, but I'm still thirsty. <laughs> you got, you got anything, any other booze? And I gave him like a beer. And I was like, oh, I got a bunch of beer. Let me just start giving to him. I thought he would know his own limit. Fuck no, he killed himself. <laughs> he died of alcohol poisoning. He just kind of collapsed after the third beer. You're able to do that in uh, Fallout 3 with the people asking for water. If you give them too much water in one go, they just die. Oh, that's hilarious. Technically, it does happen in real life, too. Why is that? Yeah, somebody's extremely dehydrated, and you give them a whole bunch of water, and they drink it all, they just fucking die. What if the chief didn't suspend me for insubordination? Seems like I got a knack for that sort of thing. What if I were to pay you directly? Do you think you can find the guy who did her in? Of course, but I don't work in what-ifs, sweetheart. If ifs and buts for candy and nuts. Well, I forget how the saying goes, but the point is, children are too stupid to know you have to pay for candy. That's what justice requires, sugar. Cold, hard cash. And what do you think I'm gonna sell the Maltese mutant for? Nuts? Really, detective? I'm beginning to wonder if you're losing your edge. I'm the same damn man I was when we met. I can whistle just as good as anybody else. Can you? Prove it then. Whistle for me, detective. It doesn't have to be. I'm gonna join up and take on the wasteland. Gust of hot air. Later. First, I've got to track down this. Oh, I guess doing that part one of the mission kind of made it just so that they start setting up little outposts. Number one AM station in all of Boston. Well, that's just adorable. After a brief interruption with his ex-wife Brandy, our hero continues his search for the Maltese mutant, an ancient artifact said to be worth millions on the black market. The search brings him to a private boat named Destiny, where that very thing awaits him. Brandy, yeah, what are you doing here? I thought we agreed stuff. I was the one who'd find the mutant. You don't get it, do you? There is no mutant. I was the one who wrote that novel. And if you actually read it to the end, you know I bought you out here to kill you. I don't know what to do with these flares. No sane man would have made it past chapter three. Now put the gun down. You don't know what you're doing. Screw you, detective. You didn't think I'd let you kill my sister and get away with it, did you? I don't know what you're talking about, Brandy. In fact, I think you're full of yourself. And by that, I mean full of Brandy, the alcohol. I know what you mean. God, stop explaining things where you don't have to. I've always hated that about you. I can't help it. I'm a detective. Exposition's in my blood. But you're wrong about me. I didn't kill your sister. Then why were your fingerprints all over the murder weapon? That's right. I have a friend at the station, and he showed me the report. You got it all wrong, dame. Yeah, my prints were there, but that's because I picked it up at the crime scene. And why on earth would you do that? Like I told your pal the nose, I needed to get a feel for what the murderer was thinking. You expect me to believe that? What kind of idiot would deliberately Wait, put is this... on the murder weapon? Does this make me look like Randy. Rick? Not one of those phony types they got working the cases now. The real kind who can solve a crime based on fear. The there. kind who can get into a killer's head. And right now, I'm in yours. What are you saying? I'm saying I know you killed her. I knew it from the day I picked up that knife. Nah, and all those it's got short almost, shorts. My brain. It wouldn't be I bad if he had long pants, because then he would Randy, actually kind of look like you. Rick Grimes. You never realized there were two of you in that brain, did you? Multiple personalities triggered only by drinking the one drink that bore your name. But I did. And that's the brandy I broke up with. <laughs> So, you finally figured it out. But if you know I killed her, then you also know I have to pin the murder on someone else. And who better than you, detective? I can think of at least six other people, Brandy, but it doesn't matter. You think you're in control, but I know my wife's in there. And those are her fingers on the trigger, too. She'd never pull them. Brandy, what have you done? You were right, detective. I couldn't kill you. But I could still kill her. 
Hold on. I'll find you a doctor. It's, it's too late for that now. But if you could do one thing for me. What you for them? Anything, sweetheart. A whistle for me, detective. Just once before I go. You know damn well I can't. I have no idea how people do it. It's like some kind of alien trick. Maybe you could try with your fingers or something. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Polly's back. You, you did real good, brother. This body Goodbye, is nothing detective. short of art. Sure, I will. All the Goodbye, little detective. malfunctions Goodbye, and mishaps friend. I've been putting up with for years, gone. I'm like a newborn babe. If babies could turn a human into a cadaver in under eight mm -hmm. seconds, here I yeah. made you this from some parts I didn't need anymore. Polly's As thanks. Head. Now go get comfy. Cool. The electromagnetic shielding up. Without it, the machine might malfunction. It's up. Not that it'll help much, given the other dozen or so parts it could fail in its place. Dr. Sanders, I get the distinct feeling you don't share my enthusiasm for this project. Dr. Jones, I'd like to think of the 20 years we've been together, I've given yeah. you a lot. It's I've given you my time, it's hell on my her. sweat, no and my I'm expertise. I even gave you my secret recipe for banana bread. Not Little that you know how to use it, like this. but the one thing I won't give you is my enthusiasm. Not, not when you choose to risk your life for this <laughs> experiment. Risk is a part of life, Doctor. Get you something, you Take a risk when you eat your sugar bombs in the morning, when you drive your Corvega, and when you cheat on your husband. Every second is a dice roll. The only no, saving no. grace is sure you have some semblance of Always control. Has been. But when it comes to there nuclear no war, to radioactive fallout, and the end I of days, I'd only be gone a couple no of months. Choice. But Your fate is left in the hands of two men with their fingers on the button. And, and you know whatnot. there's only a matter of time before one of them pushes it. That's some why we treasure. built our own machine with our own buttons. One that will send me back in time. Seems I've just vastly it, underestimated the general populace's level of desperation. So I came back to sell them all drinks and to finally be home. What'd you do before the war? Me? Businesswoman. Carved a nice place out for myself in pharmaceuticals. All right, Dr. John. I made some along the way. Gotcha. And lots what of is this urgent message you wish but to But I was write. also able to Mr. put President, away enough I want you to take your finger off the button. When the end came... <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I was in better button? shape than you most. You know which one. Traded the one nearly all of it in the order to build of an this invasion. place, though. The button that fires now, the nukes. the wayward's Dr. my Jones, legacy. You do realize there isn't and an actual button, right? And it'd be nowhere without you. What do you mean? <laughs> Dr. Jones, there's no big red button to fire a nuclear arsenal. The generals, they make a recommendation. Then so what's I the deal with the best Great. You're Isn't wrong, she? Mr. President. I got her for a steal because the military took all the guns when we retired. And with the way things are going, it's She's only a matter of time before you push it. forklift hybrid I, I never knew I because, wanted. I well, never would have been able to haul all this stuff up here without her. Let right. alone build this place up. <laughs> I'm gonna with Saul's idea to paint her, upgrade her voice module to something more fit in her role. Because I'm a time traveler. Dr. Jones, that is quite frankly the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And yet it's the truth. And he leads on Nothing the other than the rumor of the Do big one everyone the keeps babbling about being tucked enough. away somewhere near that. I've heard it's a city that drops riches from the sky, and that it's a drill that crawls around underground. So, and at this point, how did it go? I would not I be the least bit thing. surprised to find I went out to a it's dozen critical both. points in history, as far back as the invention of the button itself. And I couldn't convince a single right. person I was Come a back time traveler. To work out your Not even muscles. your husband. Well, you can hardly. Wait, what? You think after I told him about the affairs and the drugs, he would? Hey, hey, hey! Well, it doesn't back matter. Again. I'm What's beginning up? to think the past can't be changed, which means we have no choice but to accept this there future. You <sighs> a lot so, better now. I'm out of that pit. What do we but do now? All we can do is so. hope. I'm not if too the president doesn't know where worse. the button is, oh, yeah, he'll yeah, never get the chance to press it. Too ignorant, Dr. Sanders. It's humanity's greatest weakness. Three whole toilet papers. Grace. Rich. Fuck you, I'm retired. <laughs> How do you think Mr. Pebbles is feeling? My guess is somewhere between indifference and terror. <laughs> Don't all emotions fall in that range? Well, yes. 
I said it was a guess, after all. I don't like making bold predictions. We all know you're a pussy, Greg. You don't have to beat around the bush. Well, <laughs> isn't Mr. Pebbles one, too? A pussy? He prefers to be called a feline American, but that's besides the point. It's true Mr. Pebbles is a puss, but <laughs> only in a technical sense. The truth is, he's likely the bravest astronaut we have. Yes, it's kind of Give me that bonus think. XP. Oh, I wouldn't be too hard on yourself. I've only Greg. gotten like two levels There's the entire time I've been playing. Captain, <laughs> it has little to do with you. Fact is, yeah, ever since coming back, like nothing is. Re I'm guessing it's because these are all low-level quests and stuff. But nothing's really given me anything for like actual advancements. Like here's 25 XP and 25 caps. I'm just like, ugh, never leveling up. Yeah, you should uh, be checking your map every now and then. And in the bottom left, when you see a daily or public event, you should be participating in that. Well, I'm here for the story at this point. This is actually a story. <laughs> it's like, oh, stuff going on. That's like not the same three events. You're welcome to say hi, but try not to Zero. speak to cattle. Got enough to do around here without having to run after them. You haven't seen me three fucking times, and yeah. Exhalation of air through nostrils. Dude, she's the best. Houston, do you read me? Houston. Okay. So. What other quests are there? Sorry, man. More for this. What do we do? Something's wrong with our comm system. Someone needs to go fix it. Did you get it? If we lose contact with Houston, we're flying half blind out there. God damn it, you stupid cat! Oh, the overseer's mission. Say something! Corpse. Schmeier's off spying on Greg, congratulations on the mission. Never mind, Peter. I need to tell you something. It's about Mr. Pebble. Ah, uh, he should be meeting with the president shortly. He's receiving the Medal of Freedom, you know. But that's what I'm saying. He doesn't deserve any of it. Not the medals, not the cereal boxes. For Christ's sake. He's not even a real astronaut. What do you mean? Did he have problems piloting the shuttle? He's a Just goddamn steal. cat. Of course he had trouble. He can't even hold the throttle for crying out loud. Come with those thumbless paws. Now, Greg, what right, did so I tell you about also envy and brilliant. jealousy? I'm not jealous. This is a matter of competence. You sent me into the dead of space under the command of a mindless furball. Mind your rank. That's your captain you're talking about. The point is, I could have died up there. And yet, if it weren't for Mr. Pebbles, you'd be dead right now. 76. What? This is the Overseer. We need to talk face to face. I've missed all of you, but this isn't just about a reunion. We have work to do. I'll be waiting in Sutton. Sutton. All right. Interesting. I feel like I've already done that quest before. Damn, what else am I supposed to do? Alright, I did I did all her missions, I guess, and I'm just done with them. What the hell do I do with the card then that she gave me? Actually, where is what that? What card did she give you? I don't know. <laughs> she just said, I gave you the key card, and I'm like, what key card? Oh, the key card she gave you was to go to the mine to go down to uh get the treasure. Oh, back at the mine. Okay. Because I was like, I, there's no context clues here, and I can't see a quest to track. Uh, where was yeah. that freaking mine? Uh, so in your notes, you'll have a treasure map or whatever she also gave you. 
that will have the code for a door that you need to open. I wonder if it's the door already open. <laughs> and then that's the... for the door inside of that one that I couldn't access. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you already open the door with, like, the keypad, then... Got treasure bonds. Yeah, what was that fucking... This is that golly mine, so while I'm going that way, I'll set up the astronaut's computer. <sighs> Damn. What? I accidentally I walked up to a piece of power armor and hit E instead of uh, R. <laughs> so I, I jumped in it rather than just taking everything off of it. Yeah, it takes so much longer to cancel that. Turret's got him. <laughs> Sucks as suck. I guess it only shoots smoke anyways. You bet it can't shoot spicy smoke, that'd be nice. I like how I was in my underwear for a second there. <laughs> That's another thing. I haven't been able to find fusion cores to save my life. Yeah, they're... They used to be so plentiful compared to now. <laughs> like, I've, I've seen... No, I don't even think I've found one, actually, since I started playing again. Yeah, it seems the easiest way to get them is to, like... Uh, go to one of the power plant workshops and set up the fusion core generator there and just play the game for a little bit and go pick up uh, fusion cores from there every so often. I do have, My problem uh, right now is I have, I have a ton of fusion cores, but they're all like at different power levels, so they take up it. They're a different stack, so it's like... Ah. I'll take your weakest ones. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, you can't. I mean, I have 17 full fusion cores, and 
a lot of just different full ones. Oh, can I wear her head? That's fucked up. Ollie's old head. If if these things didn't weigh anything, it'd be nice. Could you just stop? I'm just trying to fucking look at my character. God damn. There we go. Okay, cool. Polly's old head actually looks kind of good. Yeah, maybe I'll keep it on for now. Fact finder. <laughs> oh, that's right, I gotta break down that. I finally got a mini nuke. Ah, oh, thank god. I'm gonna put that in the stash for now, though. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for a girl like you. Carrying a rocket launcher. Mm. Right. What? Your door is locked, let me in. Oh, sorry. It's because I'm in a public group instead of the regular stuff. Yeah. Oh, wait, I bring I you a... Uh, a gift of annoyance. What does that mean? <laughs> Where the fuck did they all drop? Don't tell me they dropped all the way ground level. I have. Yeah, and I can wear my stupid power armor. Oh, did you already pick them all up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. They dropped in a little sack inside the base. Or, like, um, gym yeah, bag. Yeah, it came out of my inventory, but I didn't see the fucking gym bag. I was like, where'd they go? Oh, no. Go run away. Break all these things down. Yep. Oh. 
on me right now. Oh, come here. You piece of crap. Or can I not break down these legendaries? Yeah, you can't break down the legendaries uh, here. What the fuck? Alright, well, I'll at least drop them then. I right, want that one. Not that one. You can go. take legendaries to this place. Well, actually, pretty much any place where there's a lot of traders. But if you take them to the Rusty Pick, you can trade legendaries in for legendary script, which you can then take to the vendor at the Rusty Pick uh, to buy legendaries. That's new. Yep. Well, they don't have Jet in the game, but they do have a Dick Doll. Fun. Just so you know, they taste good. Oh, wait, actually. Yeah, would that be notes, maybe? I can now learn <laughs> Brotherhood Roundtable. <laughs> Where is it? Plan Brotherhood Roundtable, Minigun Tri Barrels, Pulse Mine. I don't know what that one that I clicked is because that was an accident. A warehouse set. Wall. Ooh, I got a thousand stock shares in Rob Robco. <laughs> That's useful. And hundred dollars worth of treasury bonds. Alright, what's my weight at? Three fifty eight. Come on, we can do better. God, that's a really good fucking submachine gun. What? I got a fucking submachine gun from this daily that, that uh, called Love Tap, and it gives uh, plus twenty five percent bonus damage, fit, breaks fifty percent slower, shoots uh, twenty percent faster. Damn. So far, I haven't really enjoyed the. Submachine guns, weirdly enough. Like, they're not as strong as they should be. I shouldn't have to mag dump a whole mag into a ghoul to kill it. <laughs> That's just me, you know? Hmm. I'm just curious what, uh... Which perk actually will increase the damage for them? I wonder if they fall under automatic rifles or if there's one for specifically submachine guns.
thought I learned the three barreled one. Nah, that's bullshit. It also, oh, this fucking submachine gun also does gain brief health regeneration when you hit an enemy. Hmm. So I heal while shooting people. That's fucking dope. Where'd you get this? I don't know. It's just one of the quest, or daily quest rewards from the daily one I did just now. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Build a computer thingy. I'll put it in the basement. That way I don't have to deal with it. Okay, I guess I didn't even set that up correctly. Woman who fell to earth. You can only have one ally workshop. Please, please. I just can't shake these can't nightmares. Shake the Floating in space forever. Just why? This is a mobile campsite, then. Hmm. Fascinating. Definitely useful. Yeah, this place should do just fine. Thanks for setting up the console. I can work with this. This console looks pretty good. A little rusty in places, though. I guess you got these parts from a junkyard, huh? The whole world's a junkyard. The scanner currently has a Model 38X2, which is built for scanning very specific locations. Not bad, but I would like to improve it. The year before I launched, the military was rolling out some scanner upgrades. One of those could give us more speed and detail in our scans. What scans? Can you oh. find a scanner upgrade module for this? It would help us find I so much I didn't know more. that you just and get much more caps whenever another teammate finishes the, one of their quests. So, yeah, I've been getting caps whenever meantime, you guys have been doing I'll stuff and I'm just console. sitting here doing my thing. Did you know that it still uses the outdated P14B configuration for its power chamber? I mean, I know you all survived the end of the world, but using this as is would be like living in squalor and the apocalypse. Listen, <laughs> I know you've so done a lot stupid. for me already. Got me out of that sunken bunker and let me stay here. It means a lot. How are you doing? It's hard. Oh. 
I don't know what to say. It's more than I ever expected could happen. This wasn't even was in the realm of possibilities when I launched. But it could have been worse. I need to remember that. Yeah, you lived. Good job. All right. Do you need anything else for the console? Uh, no. I need a TF-85B adapter to improve the visual fidelity of the scanner, but those... Uh, those were being phased out when... When... <laughs> when I launched decades ago. So... Now I need to be the one to adapt... Or else. Right? <laughs> right? Uh, oh well. <laughs> anyway. No, I don't really have what I need, but I'm making do. I think I can muddle through with this. Okay. Still can't believe you're really an uh, astronaut. You saw my wreck, didn't you? I don't know how else to prove it to you. You know, it's equally surprising to me that you survived all of this. It's good that wonders never cease, right? I'll be back. Copy. Over and out. All later. Oh, uh, let's talk to the astronaut. Oh. She's goo. Found her in a hole. <laughs> Was Earth always Look so at this astronaut solid? I found. Can I keep her? So I mean, that's basically it. Like, it's not like she has somewhere else to live. <laughs> Yeah, those uh, ally quests, when you do them, will also give you a uh, legendary script. Not a whole lot of it, but a bit. It's good to be out of that waterlogged bunker, let me tell you what. If my crew is out there, I hope they found someone decent to take them in. Alright, cool. How can I customize you? Can I give you things? Oh, okay. I'm actually taking things off of you. Yeah, put that on. Put I that just on. can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just why? <laughs> hey, um, so you kind of need some clothes under all that armor. <laughs> I'll try not to get in your way. So if you were to check your map right now, you should see in the bottom left a daily event. Get back here, you psycho. Just running around with no pants on. Madman. Okay, what were you saying? When you look in your map, do you see a, uh, a daily event in the bottom right? Or left, rather? Nuke the blast zone. 
or nah. uplink? Uh, sh should be public event. Oh, that one is distinguished guests. Yeah, click on that and click join. But I don't want to get teleported. I'm busy. Y'all have fun. Uh... <laughs> you join yourself. I'm murdering things. Well, I'm about to be murdering things. Just can't shake these All right, ideas. so she auto search for things. Is that what she was saying? Just why? Next. Left. Oh, wait. Actually, I am right next to the distinguished guest. Fine. I'll go over there. armor. I pressed the button. You happy now? <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to do these quests, but they're all confusing. <laughs> None of them tell me who they're attached to unless I use enough contact clues that don't really exist. Oh, stuff happening. Yeah, right now uh, we just need to find the robotic weight staff and get them back to work. Or I'm wrangle. Uh... Have at the Rapscallion. Now you fucking what? <laughs> oh no, Clifford's on fire. Find a mini gun, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for a new one ever since I accidentally scrapped mine the other day. I think I have one in my stash. Well, look who finally decided to come back to work. I had to build one actually now thinking about it. I have a base. <laughs> Actually, probably not, because I never really did learn a bunch of stuff when we played. Yeah, you didn't go through the learning the crafting recipes. Neither did I. I don't have a whole lot. I mean, I learned the ones that they gave you as the tutorial, and then there was nothing after that. It was literally just find them in the world, dummy. <laughs> yeah, now they're actually pretty easy to buy over at the... Uh, uh, what's stuff. the... What, no, specifically the White Spring <gasps> Mall. Get this last buy. Got the second Let's floor. Oh. Where the fuck is the stairs? Apparently, this place used to be a super mutant den. Fun. Oh. Found one of the bots. Dead? Now I suppose I've dawdled long enough. Uh -huh. yep. It's time to serve the children a bucket of sweets, but they're sending them back on the first time. Why 
get to the top floor though. Over in this main hall, there's a firewall. Uh, oh, hmm. oh, duh, it's right next to the door. No wonder I walked past like three times. Wait, he's on the roof. There's a workshop right around here. I read the somewhere. report, Greg. You lost control of your emotions and blacked out. Meanwhile, your captain, despite having lost contact with Houston, safely guided the shuttle back to Earth. Once so you again, tell me who we have undesired deaths at our door. That's impossible. Listen, you Greg. You've had a tough time. Get some rest. Maybe you're right. To be honest, I thought you'd all lost it. Everything had in space, but maybe I'm the one who's bananas. Maybe I'm the one who can't cut the mustard. I have no idea what you're saying, Greg. But if you're hungry, there's <laughs> So, what do you think, Colonel? I think this whole thing stinks, Peter. Every astronaut up there has come back to the same story. I don't have an answer, and it's not like Mr. Pebbles to say something. He's far too dignified to talk ill of his peers. Then what is it, Peter? How is it every human that goes up there ends up in a rubber room? I don't and know. An death but Greg seems the to be in fine health. All that's left now is to send him home and hope for the best. And goodness, you take your care. Yeah, I can't find a way to the roof. Oh, if I can find my way to the second is, and third ish the floor. I saw a strange billboard downtown on the way here advertising something called Coke Star. What? It's the airport's danger. It really is an icon. That's odd. I don't remember it being there. I'm surprised you remember anything. A smidge off center. old place. Don't stop now. We've almost got all the tension in the Random fucking insult bot just appeared and insulted me. <laughs> I didn't hear what his insult was, but it, I heard the last of it saying, contact me with burn word for his history. Air gun. <laughs> yeah. I want that. Marked him with a goddamn flak cannon. He kept asking for a nuka cola, whatever that is. I gave him a coke and he practically spit it out. Still, that kind of behavior is ground for locking him up. But his fixation with the is another story. 
He's under the impression Mr. Pebbles was he just launches a fucking artillery barrage at people and fucking murks them. Yeah, he's, he's doing it inside the building so he killed everything. Yeah, I'm wondering why he's doing dailies at that level. Is it cat's head anywhere near the emotional intelligence? Pick this in legendary script, legendary cores, which he can use. Do what with? Has he not finished? Shouldn't he have yeah, won the game? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he would be using him for. He's got everything he fucking needs, but uh. Oh, he's got cool ass power armor too. Like, look at this shit. I'll need a debrief, President Domino, in the morning. He's got like a full set of T60 with the uh, uh, T60. Jetpack. Oh, that's why he jumped real good earlier. Hello. Hello. Is anyone home? My car broke down and I need help. Huh? The door's open. I guess it won't hurt to go inside. Hello? Is anyone home? I just need to make a phone call. What on earth? You. Who let you in here? I let myself in. My car broke down and I damn well could stay out there. I see. Well, you shouldn't have come in. There are far more dangerous things in here than you'll ever find. Does it have something to do with the howling? Yes, but perhaps it's best I show you. I don't get it. Why is this man locked up? I understand you may look out, but I assure you that you know that. Like rifle or something? This is the shirt you would Yeah, sounds like a railway rifle. I don't get it. It looks like an ordinary shirt. Look at the name written on the tag. I'm launching rail spikes at people. That's right. I was wondering why it sounded like it. The devil himself. I was like, in my brain, I know what that is, but I'm like, nah, they don't have that, and I forgot the pizza thing. <laughs> Which kind of brought the Luddite type weapons. How can you be so sure? Because I put him in this prison exactly eight years to this day. Alright, did the... There we go, there's the end of it. In that time. But there's been wars, murder, crime. Get anything good. It's hardly a utopia. Those are man's failings. The yeah. devil has no hand in that. Okay, so what about pestilence? Disease? Uh, another god is in charge of that. Ah. I think one of the Hindu ones. Ten bullion. Then what does Satan do? What's, what's changed exactly? For many years, I asked that question myself. I combed the newspapers <laughs> looking for evidence that his influence was mm -hmm. gone. Until at long last, I discovered it. Satan, you see, is a harbinger of random automotive breakdowns. Car trouble? But my car just broke Dumb. down ten minutes ago. Did it? Did All right, you did you the want the, uh... Oh, Where is it? Guess I, didn't. I have oh, a this troubleshooter right short right gun. I'll show you. Oh sure. See, completely out of gas. What do you know? I guess you were right. We keep some canisters in the basement. I'll have my squire, brother Joseph, fill up your tank immediately. I suggest you spend the night, however, as it looks like there's another storm coming. I really appreciate you everything you're doing. Space. No trouble at all. You may choose any bed and take whatever you need from the kitchen. I only ask that you do not let Satan out of his cage. Sure. I want you to give me your word. Do Beard? not let him out. What? Sorry. All right, all huh? right. You have my word. Look at me oh, in space. Again. Come on, friend. Let's get you out of here. Damn. Really okay, it kept not letting me do it. I was like, Don't I'm worry. holding space, and it keeps resetting. I don't believe for a second that you're really All right. Now let's get you in my car. Now go to weapons. You should see me offering a right. troubleshooter's a short Gatling gas. gun for zero cap. Keeps good, canceling out. And... All right, weapons. Something's wrong. The car won't start. Why won't it start? I only see what no. you have equipped. <laughs> it can't be. Yeah, now you should see the uh, cat. There we go. Okay, I think I did it. 
Oh, that's cool. All right, I guess we're going to Abe Lincoln times. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Red. What brings you out here this yeah, morning? Lake, that's none yeah, of your Lake. business, Velma. I, I Jesus, Lord don't Almighty, know what all of it's... Oh, plus 50. I ain't never heard you be rude to anyone. Least what did that me. say? Sorry. If you hit I'm X, you can, jumpy. in the inventory, jumpy? you can view You're its bonuses again. Now, are you going to tell me what this is all about? Plus 50 damage to robots. Replenishes ammo or action up. points the with each kill. Here is you, Faster Corbin. movement speed I while aiming. That's cool. Not my doctor's appointment. You're baking Where do you get that up? one? Not a chance. Look at my I don't know. It's just a, another weeks, uh, random drop. But it doesn't matter. I'm here now. And I ain't Whenever I get a legendary now, weapon that I think will be useful on? instead oh of like, God, exchanging so it for legendary strip, I just hold on to it in my stash. Draw. What he knows damn well, he's slower than a one-legged horse. Mm. Not everyone can be as fast as your mother, Corbin. But that's got nothing to do with gunplay. You no good, son of a bitch. That's enough. Corbin, I know your mother, and I'll tell you right now, she's no saint. And Red, the doctor's been out of town for about a week now. No one believes you made an appointment. It doesn't matter. He knows my secret. I'm a coward. And since he's the only one who knows, he has to die. But don't you see? You're both cowards. Corbin ain't gonna tell a soul so long as you don't. It's what they call mutually assured destruction. She's right. I can't tell people you're a yellow ditty little liver without you saying the same about me. And I can't tell people you're a thumb-sucking bushwhacker without you spilling the beans neither. See? Ain't no reason to fight. Now let's see about fixing you two some breakfast. Cold again. What about her? She knows, too. You're right. Oh, I got a minigun now. But I like the scatling probably a little bit. Shoot a woman in the back. Isn't that what cowards do? Shoot people in the back? You are right. We should try it. On three. One. Two. Hey, Velma. How's it going? Oh, you know. Same old, same old. See, was that Red and Corbin I saw on their way out? Yep. Don't worry. They'll be fine. Might be limping around for a while, but they'll live. What happened? I don't know. I turned my back to use the stove, and I hear gunshots go off. Oh, dear. I thought them two were cowards. Maybe not. Luckily, they're still pretty bad shots. Both of them didn't even take their guns out of their holsters. Ended up shooting their own toes off. Of course, if you ask them, they'll say they shot the other guy in the foot. Well, whatever helps get them through the day. Say, do you got any pie? Coming right up. Getting up. One small step. Sonny, remember to be home by six today. Six? But I thought me and the fellas could go to the bar to watch the game. There will be other games. You don't understand, honey. It's not just any game. It's Yank Socks. And the winner goes on to the World Series. Not tonight. You know damn well my sister's coming over. Well, why does she have to stay here? There's a perfectly good zoo down the street. Sonny, that's enough. Oh, okay, maybe a zoo's a little too harsh, but what about a motel? There's rats in that motel. Which makes it perfect, given she's part snake. They might even give her the room for free. Sonny, I'm not gonna stand for your insults. How am I over encumbered again? Come on, game. Or you don't come home Let me all. hold things. <laughs> it's like D&D &D and games like this. You always well, have to I have everything on you. Town. You must be the bearded lady I've heard so much about. And you must be the pig my sister married. How's life on the farm treating you? Oh, can't complain. Maybe if you had a job like mine, you could afford an apartment of your own. <laughs> That's a laugh. Don't tell me you're actually proud of this shoddy excuse for a home. It's got character, Jill. And bathroom mirrors. Something your place clearly doesn't have, seeing as you forgot to shave. At least I have an excuse. You, on the other hand, have a bathroom and a sink, and you still haven't figured out how to brush your teeth. And for your information, I live in a high-rise condo. I'd invite you over, but... The elevators aren't built to support planets your size. That's it, I've had enough of you. Where's Margaret anyway? What, you send her to hell to pick up the rest of your luggage? Well, I was gonna ask you the same. I wanted to go watch the ballet, but she insisted I babysit you instead. Wait, you don't want to be here either? Of course not. Then where the hell is Margaret? Where's Sonny? 
He couldn't make it. What's the score? The eggs are down two runs. I didn't know you liked baseball, Margaret. Baseball, I like. Pinstripe, not so much. Is that him, Boris? It is Vladimir. You want I shoot him in head? From this distance, it's no problem. Yet, you do that, and his brains will splatter the room like chunks of meat. What's wrong with that? You don't like me? I am not a butcher like you. I am an artist, and artistry is my weapon, just as that pistol is yours. You understand? So you want I crack his skull with bronze statue? Ah, no, not quite. I will show you what I mean. May I come in? Who are you? What do you want? Oh, we both know who I am, Major. And we also know what I want. Your death, to be precise. So, you're the assassin the KGB said after you. You don't look so tough. You're right. Toughness is my least impressive attribute. No. As I explained to my friend outside, I plan to kill you with cunning. I should just shoot you right now. Oh, you could. But part of you is too intrigued to pull the trigger. You want to know how this bourgeois fool, completely unarmed, is going to invite himself into your home and kill you. I admit, it's a bit strange. Never expected my executioner to knock. So how do you plan on killing me? Why don't you let me inside, and I'll show you. Haha, <laughs> very clever, commissaire. But I'm not falling for that. If you want to talk, you can do it from where you're standing. All right, if you insist. I'll stay out here. By the way, you look parched. Perhaps you'd like to have this drink, which is clearly not poison. Why, yes, I would like to have... Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. You're trying to trick me. There is poison in that bottle. Nothing gets past you, Major, given your keen eyes. I'm guessing you're also aware that your fly is open. These pants have no zippers. Your shoes are untied? They are. Well, I'd better tie them. I don't want to trip it. Oh, yeah. you're good, Commissaire. Very good. But I'm not falling for that either. Maybe behind you, there is something? Yeah, I don't think so. God damn it! Give me that guy! No! Let's go! <laughs> Is this the spy? It's him. How can you tell? He has no face. It's him, okay. Trust me. All right, but I thought you said you don't like the Bashman's face. You want to do like an artist. And I did. This was just more Jackson Pollock than Claude Monet. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't know art, but Let's I know keep what going forward. Is this Pollock? It's good. Yes, but please. Being full of stupid. Challenger told me you'd be coming in. What? Did he tell you I was a loony? He didn't tell me anything. Just your name, your age, and the phone number of a good plumber. Why a plumber? My toilet's backed up. I've been having to use the office bathroom instead. I see. And do you promise you won't put me in a straitjacket? I won't put you in anything. However, my colleagues at Parsons might be inclined to, provided you're actually ill. <laughs> suppose it doesn't matter anyway. I won't live much longer at this rate. And why is that? You watch baseball, Doctor. Of course. Who in Boston doesn't watch baseball? Well, do you ever watch the games? Feel like you have control over the outcome? I'd say that's fairly common. Superstition and sports go hand in hand. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, you realize that whatever you do, it doesn't really matter. But I can't stop thinking. What if I'm wrong? What if I really have the power to change? Is that why you're not wearing any clothes? Yeah, Doc. No 
The more clothes I wear, the harder it is for us to score. I put on a sock, and the bombers hit a double. I take it off, we strike out the side. But it's got to be less than 30 degrees outside. It'll die of hypothermia. I know, but if I cost us the first championship since 1918, then the entire city will have me in the electric chair. There's no way out, Doc. It's heads you win, tails I lose. Mr. Richards, no team has come back from a 3-0 deficit in the history of sports. So it's my medical opinion that you should put on some pants. But what if they lose? What if it's all riding on me? As a season ticket holder, if we lose, I promise you, Mr. Richards, I'll shoot you myself. But it won't come to that. It just won't. <laughs> I heard there's a new patient in Ward C. Supposedly, he thinks he's the reason we lost the World Series. I tell you, give him enough rope and a bottle of chems, and some people will believe just about anything. That's the thing, though. This wasn't some homeless person or addict. It was a respected psychiatrist, Dr. Chase Paul. You don't say. The shrink in the loony bin. Now that'll liven things up around here. <laughs> sure as hell beats watching baseball. You to leave, Rick. Look, Mary, I'm a bartender. You know damn well that means I have to work nights. But you heard the news reports? They're calling in the Boston Butcher, and he's already killed a half dozen women all over Lexington. We don't know that for sure. The Bugle's just trying to stir things up to sell papers. And the way you're acting, I'd say it's working. Oh, please, Rick, stay with me. It'll just be for tonight. That's what you said last night, and the night before. I've already used up all my sick days. Do you want me to lose my job, too? All right, but promise you'll come home as soon as your shift is over. Jesus, Mary, I'll be home when the work's done, not a moment sooner. Who is it? I'm afraid of your husband. He asked me to check up on you, make sure you're all right. Oh, that was nice of him. I have to admit, I'm a bit of a wreck. Do you work at the bar? That's right, Fred Samson. Your husband probably mentioned me before. He doesn't like to talk about work. <laughs> That's funny. I can't get him to shut up. It's part of the reason I volunteered to check on you. He said you were frightened by that whole business in the papers. Are you talking about the butcher? Sure. But I'm afraid I haven't been following it as closely as you have. What do you know about him? It's all in today's issue of the Bugle. Go on, read it. I just can't wow. shake these nightmares. It says here you killed six women, all I'm redheads in their 20s. Just... Hey. You're a redhead. That's right. And uh, you're about 25, right? 22. Huh. Now I see why you're worried. It's not just that. If you read further down, there was also an eyewitness who saw nice the now. building of one of the victims. They said he was a Caucasian man, about six feet tall, with blonde hair and blue eyes. And I've seen at least three men that fit that description living on this street alone. Six feet tall, blonde hair and blue eyes. Hey. Come to think of it, I fit that description. It also mentions he has a bit of a limb. I've got a bum leg from a shrapnel wound I got in Korea. And one other detail. They said he carved the letters F.S. on the bedpost of one of his victims. The police think it might be his initials, like Frank Smith. Or Fred Sampson. One of the detectives said there was no forced entry, which means he probably entered the homes pretending to be a friend or a relative, or a spouse's co-worker. Garage commencing. <gasps> so it does work that way. Cool. You? But why? You're Fred Sampson, Rick's friend from work. And the man will come to this room. He could be calling the police right now. Now why would he do that? Cool. My artillery works. Oh, that's awesome. You can see go up. Wait, you can't leave. What if the butcher comes? What if he's here in this building? Let go of my arm, lady. You mustn't go. Please. I can watch the whole they way almost. Butcher. Really? Where? Yeah. Hanged himself over at the Roadside Pines Motel. The police chased him down there from one of the buildings nearby. In the end, 
I guess the guy figured it was best to take the easy way out. Well, I'm glad that's over. To think, I was actually worried he'd come after oh, okay. me. Okay, so it goes up, disappears, comes back. Thousands of women in the city. So the far enough away it looks right, but that's what I, was saying. <laughs> I made it shoot too close, so it looks all goofy. You had nothing to worry about, but you had to get all hysterical, just like all the other kids. You're right. I'm such a foolish girl. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. You did one thing right. You married me. That I did. Oh, and by the way, remind me to thank your co-worker, Fred, for coming over the other night. He really helped me deal with the anxiety. Fred? I don't know anyone named Fred. Something. I don't know what the hell she does. <sighs> Some people work the nine to five. I'm what lesser men call an honest living. Me? I play the horses. Wasn't always like this, mind you. It began as a mistake, it ended up as a career. And in between all that was a lot of education. Not the kind they teach in school. Or maybe they do teach it. It's not like I know. Consider I've never been. Anyways, lately I've been on a real cooler. I started out the season up 10 knots and dropped down a camp beer in a week. Then I made the mistake of putting it all on a filly named Sally's Girl. Cinnabar, Rondelay, and Sully's Girl. And making his bet now is Battle Flag. Battle flag coming up fast on the outside. It's Cinnabar and Battle Flag. Cinnabar is fading. Cinnabar is dropping back. It's Battle Flag, Cinnabar and Rondelay. Battle Flag, Cinnabar and Rondelay. At the finish, it's Battle Flag by a neck. Then Cinnabar, Rondelay, and Sully's girl. Now I'm in the tank for five times to a bad man named Butch. Problem is, all I got in the world are the clothes on my back and this moldy sandwich I fished out of a trash can in an hour. I won't even have that. It's when I saw an ad in the bugle. Supposedly a robot wants a fellow machine to travel with in the Los Angeles to pick up an inheritance. Well, I may not be a robot, but I can fake it easy enough. I'm here about the ad. I see. I'm sorry, but the ad was for a robot. It'll look human. I'm a new prototype. A fully functioning android. Oh, then you won't mind if I pull this scolding hot coffee on your lap? Of course not. I'm a machine. I don't feel pain. How's that? It's fine. Don't feel a thing. Wonderful. We leave for Los Angeles tomorrow. The coffee burned like three-day-old syphilis. But I held it together for the cash. Three-day-old syphilis. <laughs> so not the money he was paying me to drive. I wanted that inheritance. And if I could convince this bucket of bolts I was a machine, I could do the same for the lawyers. When we got on the road, I learned everything about him. The factory he was building, his serial number, and his primary function. He was a casino robot, charged with shuffling cards at a blackjack table. In fact, that's all he ever talked about. It was all he was programmed to talk about. Eventually, I had just about enough. Did you know that it takes 2,000 shovels to properly randomize a deck? Oh, yeah? Did you know that it only takes one bullet to kill a robot? And that's for pouring hot coffee on my lap. Wait, why isn't it? When I got to Los Angeles, I got a bad no. feeling. Not on my lap, of course. There was nothing there but pain. You know, the feeling I had was more like a hunch. Like a six to one underdog taking a bad beat on a dried up river. So I flipped a coin. Heads I go in, tails I don't. The coin came up heads. Kensington, ah! I'm the card shuffling robot you spoke to on the phone. I'm here to collect my inheritance. Oh, yes. Do you have the documents? Uh, yes, I do. Here's my production slip along with my bill of sale and retirement papers. 
They replaced me just last year with those new Robco models. I see. This is all well and good, but there's one other document I think you should see. What's this? It's the factory recall slip from your manufacturer. Factory recall? But that means... Yes. I'm afraid there is no inheritance. Your model has a defect that makes you think you're human. In order to solidify that belief, you manufactured this backstory. But really, think about it. What sort of person would leave a massive portion to a hard shot? Wait, I'm not really a robot. See? Flesh and bone. Oh dear. There's that defect cropping up again. I'm well aware of how realistic you prototypes are. We have a similar model in our office. But the fact remains, you are a machine. Anyhow, don't worry. Security will have you boxed up and shipped back to Boston in no time. No, let me go! You can't do this! <laughs> The place, <laughs> somewhere west of the Where's Colorado. Where's the loading? The Deadlands, they call them. The for reasons that were obvious music. to people on the outside and heartbreaking for those left in. Somewhere deep in those what Deadlands, there was a loading? town without a name. And there was a reason for that, too. You see, for a traveler, a name is something timeless. A marker you can put on your map and find decades later. A name is a promise. Oh, sorry. I, I probably wasn't actually talking out loud. I was just kind of repeating what the guy was saying in the radio. He was like, Because he, like, died. That's because it was a town run by outlaws for outlaws. And whatever promises they made were left unspoken. So when the stranger walked into that saloon... Oh, you meant for the thing. Okay. I was wondering, like, what are you Not the gunslingers playing five-finger fillet. Not even the bartender, living here against his will because no one else could mix a proper drink. But little did he know, the stranger was the one person who could liberate the That's all. for fun. He could just look past <laughs> her face. Give me a shot of whiskey. And leave the bottle there. Going right up, ma'am. You new in town? Yeah. I heard you got trouble with some outlaws. That's good at mouth. But there's nothing anyone can do about it now. Where's the sheriff? Get myself stuck. You can meet so a man with a badge. He's in his office. But the badge doesn't mean much when the guy wearing it shot the previous owner dead. Sounds to me like you could use some help. Maybe even a new sheriff. I'm sorry, lady. But you're wasting your time. This town is beyond safe. You know how I know? Because every day some gunslinger comes riding through here talking about how they're gonna clean this place up. And every new gaming single chair. one you got a new gaming chair? Because I definitely didn't. The crows. <laughs> and your point B? I'd hate to see that pretty face of yours added to the list. That's not how I make my living. Hm. It doesn't matter how fast you are with that gun. They've got numbers, and they don't fight fair. Well, good, because my hands aren't that fast anyway. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna dirty them. So, you aren't fast, and you don't fight dirty. Sounds to me like I'm wasting that bottle on a corpse. Don't worry. In about a week, I'll be the only one left to pay their tab. You know, you do a lot of talking. But believe me when I say it's nothing I haven't heard before. The fact remains, there's more than 20 of them and one. There's ways to even the odds. And how are you going to do that? I don't know yet. The but order if you Alpha help, One Nine. You can start by telling me about to the all remaining staff, you are hereby required to I enact emergency order be, Alpha One Nine. Destroy all non-communication terminals. Run table. procedure the Tango Seven Nine Alpha Charlie the on communication like terminal. Destroy all hard copies. Response, evacuate the maintain silence. Confident in the fact that while her mm. hands were slow, her aim was true. Fun. But more than that, she knew she was willing to dirty her hands far more than she let on. And it started the day she picked up that gun. To the stranger, the gun was the great equalizer. A necessary evil for someone born of the fairer sex. And what did that word even mean, fair? Life had never been fair to her. 
In fact, it spent every day of her childhood finding new and inventive ways to express its cruelty. None more so than the day her brother died. So when she found a way to tip the scales, to bring balance to an unjust world... Oh my god, game. There was nothing dirty Why or is the lockpicking this one so much Those worse than all the others? That would be the sheriff I mentioned earlier. You won't get to him as easily as the others. He doesn't have a routine. And he keeps two bodyguards with him at all times. Nah, as in, but like, you break body pins more often, and, like, the sweet spots are weird in this one. It feels like they try to tweak it and make it harder, but without actually making it harder, it's just. Like, the body pins definitely break easier for one. You can't really call it a weakness, because he's such a quick draw, faster than anyone I've ever seen. And if you're as slow as you say, let me worry about that. Tell the Undertaker he can expect 17 bodies by the weekend. The bodyguards will surrender after I kill the sheriff. The best in talk, sports, drama, and music. Atomic Radio. True to her word, it took her less than a week to get rid of most of the outlaws. They'd find themselves dead at their usual habits. The same spots the bartender had mentioned to the stranger that lonely night at the saloon. But as the bodies piled up, the outlaws got angry. The sheriff, feeling desperate for the first time in his long, unbreakable tenure, gathered up everyone in town for a mass execution. There would be hell to pay, even if he didn't know who or what would be footing the bill. With the risk of innocent lives being put to the noose, the stranger could no longer hide behind the fairness of her sex. She stepped oh, yeah. forward and confessed to I was going to ask, though. Oh, the gaming chair and the, 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 chair the toilet plunger. Yeah. <laughs> if you wanted to play, let it. me know. I can probably and kick one end, of these randoms. That's what she was aiming for. Because it's just me and Dragon. Has to go mano a mano with mm -hmm. the sheriff himself. The duel was set for high noon the next day. And the stranger made sure to keep her appointment. Yes. They would stand a good 60 paces apart, hands shadowing their holsters as the long hand crept ever closer to the top of the hour. And when that journey came to an end, she knew the sheriff would be the faster draw, and the bullet would hit her first. She also knew that if that bullet didn't kill her, she only guy. needed one shot to drop the man who killed her brother to bring the balance she spent her entire life searching for. So when the clock struck 12 and the sheriff's bullet ripped through her shoulder, she didn't flinch. Her face was solid, her hands were steady, her aim true. Imagine trying to fight a dude in power armor with a Gatling gun with the just your shitty little town pistol. The next night, but not before paying her tab and even the bartender. About to head to bed tip. after you finish your oranges. It's only like what seven o'clock. And when she said no, he asked her for a favor instead. Was. <laughs> but alright. The town was finally worthy of a name. What better name to I'm give? I'm heavily addicted to oranges savior. since I stopped drinking sodas. Stranger refused to give I mean, one. I can think of worse things to eat. Neighbor. I love oranges. Hopefully they're uh, Florida oranges, so they're actually the good. Often spoke of a sanctuary. A place where weary folk could find a shot of whiskey, a hot bath, and a warm bed. All they needed to do was look for the sign outside the door. It said in no uncertain terms, strangers welcome. Search, Jonathan. Wait, who are they? We need you to come with us, Jonathan.
Hopefuckers. <sighs> God, imagine being stuck in the 50s Quite for like 100 years. Oh, well, fuck. I do what I can. One man's junk is another man's treasure and all that. Yeah. Say, let me ask you something. Where's the best place to stay here in town? Why, that would be the Statesman Hotel, just across the street. And what if I was a Nazi? What? If I was a Nazi, what would be the best hotel to stay in? Why would you want to know that? Because I'm tracking one. If I was tracking a God-fearing American, I'd stay at the Statesman. But I'm not, am I? I'm looking for a Nazi man. I feel like there's a lot of locations that I was well, or had been to previously be that aren't on my map anymore. Seconds. Yeah, some I feel like got that removed God and replaced. My God, it's you. It's really you. Because I noticed there's a lot of spots that I've definitely been aren't really. There's no fast travel points near it, so that means I didn't discover anything in the area. But why Washington, of all places? Why not? It's the perfect cover. Who'd have thought that I, the notorious son of Hitler, would be marrying the president's daughter? That's a little bold, don't you think? There will be much public exposure. Yes. Imagine their surprise when they also find out I'm having an affair with her mother, the first lady. But what if someone recognizes you? You can at least shave the mustache. The mustache is a family heirloom. But it's a Hitler mustache. It's a Howard mustache now. But yes, it'll be a Hitler mustache soon enough when I give the order to invade. Is what they're saying true, Howard? Yes, Loretta, it's true. I'm the son of Hitler. What? Wait, that's not what you're here Family for. Family heirloom, What's yeah. this all about? It's about your affair with my mother. But suddenly, that doesn't seem all that important. So what happens now? Are you going to turn me in? Your own fiance, the father of your half sister. Well, if you put it that way, then yes. Fine. Call whatever passes for a Gestapo in this country. But know this: I'm the son of one of the greatest military tacticians in the history of mankind. You'll never catch me alive. Yes, the greatest <laughs> military tactician, oh, aka I'm on a lot of meth. Yep. <laughs> Build more artisan really tanks. <laughs> Last place anyone would look. Smart. So how did you catch him? Easy. I looked everywhere else first. And I looked when everywhere I was else done first. Doing that, I got a phone call from his fiance telling me the number of his hotel room. How about that? You're a real sleuth. You know that? Of course. Yeah. But I'm an American. Am I can Like, I didn't even hold it that long. Over it just these happens. Things, gotta be a prank. Well, we better check it out all the same. Evening, troopers. How can I help you? Just got a few questions, if you don't mind. Is anyone suspicious coming to the diner in the past hour? No, just the folks you see here. They all got off the bus from Topeka. Is that so? You, the, the one hat. country that Are doesn't exist driver? anymore. That's right. Does Germany not exist in uh, Fallout? Here. I forgot. Six. You sure about that, Chief? Oh yeah. I yeah, I feel like China took it over, didn't they? Just to make sure we don't leave Along with almost behind. everything else over and there. Six people got off the bus. Then how come there's seven people in this diner? Seven? But that can't be. The road's been blocked off for hours. Hey, now calm down. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for it. Perhaps if you told us what all this was about, officer, it might help clear things up. If you must know, hey, we're head. Here because someone saw something flying overhead. An unidentified flying object. A UFO. Which means one of you is an alien. Now you're pulling my leg. I'm afraid not, ma'am. Oh my god, you're serious. I'm sorry, but there's got to be another reason. I doubt it. Like the ball like the bus driver <laughs> said, the there were only six passengers. And there's seven people here. 
Or should I say, six people and one Martian? That's outrageous. Is it? Or is that what the Martians want you to think? So, what are we gonna do, Sheriff? We can't just lock them all up. Well, as far as I know, there's only one way to tell if someone's human or not. We'll ask them questions. Things only a human being would know. Like football. You, in the suit. Who plays middle linebacker for the Bears? I don't know. I'm more of a tennis fan. Tear off his flesh, deputy. I think you'll find his real face under it. Wait, what? Why? No self-respecting man would ever admit to liking tennis. No, please. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Didn't need to go this way anyways. What's that red glow there? Did you put the body in the truck? The boys in DC are gonna wanna dissect that thing. I did, but something's been bugging me the way this all went down. Speak your mind, deputy. Well, I was thinking, when you counted seven people in the diner, did you count the bus driver? Of course. But if there's six passengers and one driver, doesn't that make seven? Maybe there wasn't a Martian in there after I think all. you forgot to carry the one. Either way, I wouldn't worry about it. Intergalactic affairs are out of our jurisdiction. But shit. No buts about it, deputy. It's the Pentagon's problem now. Now come on. It's been a long night. Let me treat you to some breakfast. I'm gonna get to the basement then. I don't need to look into the strong back type perks. See what we got to work with. Every young girl needs love and romance. There's one thing she doesn't need. There you are. What are you doing in this horrible place? It's my home, mother. This is where you live. But there's so much. Start. We're vault dwellers, not vampires. Harold and I are very happy here. Harold? Is that a surface boy's name? It is. And the two of us are very much in love. Oh dear. You know it won't last. That's not true. The two of us are perfectly compatible. We both like hot dogs, walks on the beach, and our favorite movie is Love well, That's Sale. Days. You may be compatible with him, but is America compatible with the Chinese? Because that's what will end your relationship. Not some adolescent fight over what movie you want to see. Then I'll mm, convince him to mold. move in. He can live with us inside the shelter. <laughs> Good luck with that. Guess I'll do that after. Honey, I want to talk to you about something. I think we should move. Really? I thought you agreed this home was perfect. Perfect for us, maybe, but I can't help but feel it's a little too high up. Well, we lose the view, but the rent's cheaper on the lower floors. I was thinking... lower. You mean like in the lobby? Lower. The basement parking lot? Lower. I want to live in a vault. A vault? But I thought only paranoid nutjobs live in vaults, not normal people like you and me. Actually, that's not true. Tady over on Elm Street was born in a vault. I always knew there was something shifty about her. And Greg over at the diner. It's him like too. racism. Never liked him. Did you know he got angry because I left him a 10% tip? Maybe if he gave me better service, he wouldn't have to complain about the size of his. And me, Harold. I was born in a vault. What? You? But how? Well, my father works for Vault Tech, and he and some of the others in the neighborhood got to test some of the early prototypes. They had to make sure people wouldn't go insane from living underground for so long. And did they go insane? Not all of them. Honey, I don't know. A housewife has responsibilities. I want to come home to a hot meal, not some emergency food ration. If you're talking about the MRE pouches, they are a perfectly balanced dinner and they taste just fine. Oh, I'm kidding, Harold. 
hope we cook the same food underground that you do up here. I promise. In fact, why don't we visit my mother and I will give you a tour. Honey, one scary thing at a time, sweetie, if you don't mind. Man. Alright, I think I'm done looking for loot. I'm just gonna finish the quest. This time can see me. I haven't seen Ooh, you around here before. That's odd. <laughs> because I feel like I've been living in this building all my life. You say it like it's a bad thing. I love this place. The rooms are clean, people are nice. You can't beat that view. That's because you're new. You love it now, but things change. Love, in particular, has a habit of being fickle. Sounds like you speak from experience. Well, not exactly. So I've already been here. I'd say most of my experience comes second hand. Goes part and parcel with the job, really. You must be a good listener, then. If so many people trust you with their secrets. Well, it's been around for quite some time, you see. You might even say it's the oldest profession ever known. Oh? What was it you do for a living? I... I hope you're not going to ask me to spell it out for you, because... Oh. Just seeing how red your face would get if I said nothing. That wasn't very nice. So, you don't think any less of me? Not at all. I happen to be an artist. If anything, you should be thinking less of me. I love art. What kind do you do? I'm a painter. Have I seen any of your Disgusting work? Disgusting painter. <laughs> See that there hardware store across the street? Painted those walls. Oh, that is indeed quite the masterpiece. A regular Sistine Chapel. And may I ask if a man of your talents would be willing to paint a woman's apartment? Or is that beneath you? Well, I do have a lot of important clients. But I think I can work it into my schedule. Meet is your apartment? Why? Did you think I was on the clock? <laughs> now whose face is red? I think you should stop. Stop what? Doing what you're doing. And what? Become a starving artist like you? Besides, I thought you respected what I do. It's not about that. Then tell me, what is this all about? Well, it's because... It's because he likes you, bro. I love you. And if you feel the same way, I don't think it's right for you to be with other men. It doesn't matter what I feel. Love doesn't pay the bills. But neither will this. Maybe now, sure, but in 20 years, those men are gonna stop calling. You sure have a strange way of charming a girl, telling her she's going to be old and decrepit. I'm just saying it won't last. Not yep, and you can't be a, a hooker forever. I'll be here <laughs> if you just give me a chance. You know, when I first moved in here, I was just as wide-eyed as you are now. Every night I'd come out on this balcony and watch the lights go out one by one. Sometimes I'd even bring my guitar and sing the whole city to sleep. But time goes by and that feeling fades. It doesn't matter if you're out here to sing or scream. In the end you realize no one can hear you either way. That's not true. I hear you. And... Maybe Wait, I didn't mean to scrap that. Ah! But the fact that I'm here, listening. What did you scrap this time? I accidentally scrapped my chest too. armor because it didn't I look don't like. Know what you want me to say. Man, this shit's so fucking you dumb. The fact that you can't make the things you actually actively I, wear um, immune to scrapping is stupid. If they're legendary, like you can't they don't show up it. and not list it. Oh, wait, maybe then. That might have been the so extra chess piece I had then. Yeah, I, uh... Let me double check. I think I might be moving out. No, no, it's not that. I just... I need to change is all. Oh, no, I still have my chest armor. Okay, so that was the extra one. All right, cool. <laughs> Hold on. Can I call you later? Yeah, some, something came up. Fucking trapped. Come on. I can't even crouch.
Not including the one I got earlier and the couple from last week. I finally found one all on my own after like five days of gameplay. Hey. Hey. I thought you were done with this sort of thing. Well, I was. But I figured I'd do it one last time. Just to see if you were right. See if anyone was really listening. And here you are. Here I am. I'm thinking about quitting. Are you? I imagine your clients would be disappointed. Maybe. But I've decided there's only one person's feelings that I care about. Well, I have to say, I'm rather envious of this person. You should be. He's a talented painter. Rivals even the great Michelangelo. I look forward to meeting him. <laughs> Do you really think this could work? They say love's brought about more pain and misery than any other emotion. Well, pain I can handle. And I'm miserable without you, so... I think we're in the clear. <sighs> and here I thought I'd fall for a nice man with a handsome bank account. Well, I do have a bank account. Still working on the rest. It really is nice, isn't it? The view. Yeah. She's beautiful. I wonder if its range could reach out to here. Target is out of range for artillery. Oh, that just makes me sad. spawning inside the cooking shit. What's going on? Is something happening? Alright, I thought that was gonna go a lot farther. God damn. And All right. you know it works. Where's my person? It was made by the scientist Ad Robco. Oh, you just but look I at this fancy Robco thing. Robots. Not, Not cleaning, cleaning supplies. Could use Robco some soldering to makes fit in a lot of things. Console, but, but more than anything, Robco makes handle. you happy. In the I meantime, do feel much better now that I made the switch to a supplies crate that I must have splintered off while the ship broke and apart. Look. My counters are as white as Mary in the manger. It's got some emergency contact codes for the satellites. But your counters look splendid. It could even be my personal crate full of my unstoppable comics that I foolishly brought with me to space. It's made to work with robots, pets, and even your own children. Technically, would have had time. My dogs are filthy, almost as dirty as my son. I can wash them with a Braxo powder too. Were you able to yes, get any data from the flight recorder? Yes, That's but because I'm the not sure how accurate the data is. Naturally or if occurring. anything scavenged it. It's hard to tell much more until I install the upgrade module. Hey, you took comics hey, let to me space? take your creative personal items. You weren't supposed to be in deep sleep the whole time, you know. 
Oh, you're in like hibernation pods. Oh, that makes sense. That explains everything. I doubt it is. They're probably all burned up on re-entry, sadly. I had a full collection. Ugh. Anyway, I'm sure it's astronaut food or something else that the USSA thought I might need. The way you look around here, you've been here before, haven't you? Oddly, yes. I, I camped out here a few times while I was in graduate school with a good friend, uh, Emerson. Ugh, those were the days. We were in the same physics program at college and hit it off. It ended up not working out for us, but we remained friends. Which was good, because he joined the USSA towards the end of my astronaut training. Ugh. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Cool. The law has changed. You know, it's rough. I, I can't put it any other way. <laughs> you know what I thought would happen when we landed? I thought there would be a parade. I thought mm -hmm. maybe there would be a commemorative plaque. I sure as hell didn't think the world would have gone the way of the dodo. You know? Alright, feels weird looking at you like this here. I was wondering if you were coming back. Oh. I guess you can have both, but no. Had her dress looks like on her. I managed to scrape that signal from the flight recorder. Should be enough to track down. Nice I know this sounds odd, but. Uh, not much has changed for me. Not many new consoles have been invented since the, well, my time, I guess. The scanner upgrade has helped to compensate for the degradation that has occurred in the past years. I'm trying to modify it so I can use it for other stuff too. Maybe hijack the scanner so I can run a holotape game? Oh, that would be good. No, I guess she's just gonna run I whatever she wants to. I managed to scrape that signal from the flight record. Oh, the headaches emerging from deep sleep are worse than they implied it would be. I don't know. I feel sudden spikes of pain at times, and it takes a while to subside. I'm dealing with it, but it's still happening. Affirmative. Thanks. Out. What other things can I do? What's close? Fine, I'll finally do the corpse cabin.
Oh wait, I was gonna customize some of my guns. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. I guess Excavator armor isn't even that good anymore because it doesn't do the bonus weight. Now it just does bonus mining. Was Earth always so solid? I feel so wobbly. I just can't shake these nightmares, floating in space forever. Just why?
Get night vision? Oh, that's fun. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just why? They can revive other players with liquor. And hand soap, which means any skin irritation you feel is just as Mother Nature intended. That sounds amazing. I think I'll buy ten. No, twenty boxes. Good for you, Susan. But leave some for the folks at home. So, if you're in need of an all-purpose cleaner for your counters, bathtubs, and children, drop a live grenade from your inventory when you die. <laughs> That's funny. Bow before me, archer, expert archer. Mass nurture. Halitosis is a real everyday problem. The hmm. problem is, you can have halitosis and not even know it. And even your best friends won't tell you. In fact, they could be gossiping about your unfortunate breath right now. Spreading the word of your condition to that person you fancy most. Yes, that one. Why take a chance when you can just purchase a bottle of Abraxadine chemical mouthwash? The number one oral antiseptic in the world. One swish and your mouth will feel cool and refreshed, the way nature intended. And oh look, that person you fancy, they've taken notice, and so have your friends. All there thanks to the Abroxidine mouthwash you're going to buy 20 minutes from now. I just can't shake these nightmares. Hurt up. Floating in space. In the afternoon, when things slow down, when you're wondering what to do. Let's go! Whether you're a boy or a girl, a novice or a seasoned pro, nothing beats the excitement of back alley bowling. For the low, low price of $5,000 a game, you and your friends can enjoy America's new pastime. Don't worry, Bobby. That ball may be destined for the gutter, but your social life is anywhere but now that you've discovered back alley bowling. know that four out of five doctors prefer smoking Big Boss cigarettes to any other brand? That's because Big Boss is made from all natural tobacco toasted to perfection by real Apache Indians straight from the reservation. In fact, medical studies prove that Big Boss cigarettes are the smoothest, freshest cigarette money can buy and are a leading cause of good health, general well-being, and an active sex life. So what are you waiting for? Try a pack of Big Boss cigarettes today. There, now I should be able to build anything I want. <laughs> hey there. Why don't you come a little closer? Don't be shy. That you have the you plan for. You know what for. I want, don't you? Huh? I want you that to take you have it the plan off. For. Oh yeah, I have the plan for it. I want you to take it all off. But I couldn't remember what level it said, so I just kind of no. figured it out. Not your clothes, handsome. You can keep those on. I want you to take off all that pesky facial hair. And nothing takes it off like the Blades brand razor. Blades. Because if there's one thing a woman like me wants, it's a man who's unafraid I'm just to take it off. These nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just why? This is Red Bond speaking for Bronco, a division of National Dairy Products Corporation. 
Blemco, for good food and good food ideas. And now I present to you the smoothest, tastiest macaroni and cheese you can buy. The butter and cheese is golden whipped by a special Blanco process that leaves it lighter than a cloud. Look at how Jim here spreads a generous portion over his frankfurter. This is his third helping, and he's yet to reach for that acid bottle. Despite having stomach problems, there's no fear of the runs here. Not with Blamco flowing through his colon. I really gotta and use believe this me when I say often. it tastes even better than it sounds. Mac and cheese. The light, tasty dinner in a box. Made by Blamco. On July 16th, 1945, scientist J. Robert Oppenheimer was one of the first humans to witness the power of a nuclear weapon. Even 20 miles away, observers felt the heat of the explosion, striking fear in the hearts of communists everywhere. Hello, children. That sure was a day for me. Part of the thrill of science. The kind of real excitement I can put in my great new game, Blast Radius. The war is at a stalemate. The communists are approaching Anchorage, and you've got control of the button. Spin the mushroom cloud into big bombs, little bombs, and watch as our enemies melt into radioactive goo. But be careful. Or else. Uh-oh, it looks like a civilian town was almost caught in the blast radius. That was a close one, Tommy. But look, your carpet bombing of the Alaskan front has sent our enemies fleeing into the night. Good work, Commander-in-Chief. Enjoy all the skill and excitement of nuclear war. When you play blast radius, it's fun for the whole family. You got into CIT. Your mother thought it was a waste of time, but I knew you were smart enough. No, Gran, I didn't get into CIT. I'm in prison. Prison? Oh, I'm sure it's not a big deal. Everyone in town knows you're a good boy. It is a big deal, Gran. I boosted a car, and they're saying it's a felony, and they're going to try me as an adult. Well, how about that? An adult. And all summer you complain how you haven't grown as much as the rest of the boys. But the people at the station can see it plain as day. You're a man now. That's not a good thing. I can get 20 years. I don't know. I hear the prison has some good work programs available. You could learn a valuable trade while the other kids are busy studying philosophy and social science. Grand, that's all well and good, but I need you to bail me out. I only have one phone call. And you did well to call your grand. Listen, my grandson is no quitter. You tell those men at the police station you want to stay as long as it takes until you learn everything they have to teach you. But grand, some of the other inmates, they're calling me sweetie. See? You're <laughs> making you're friends, making friends. <laughs> If you only have one phone call, make sure it counts. If you only have one phone service, Make sure it's Bosscom phone and television. If you want the real story, the kind with deep angles and sharp writing, there's no better place to get it than the front page of the Boston Bugle. For just $25 an issue, you'll get the kind of hard-nosed investigative journalism you won't find anywhere else. That's because our reporters are on the street, getting their notepads dirty while the anchormen on television are fixing their makeup. That's right. Even the men. Read award-winning columns by Buster Connolly, Mag Sficio, and Tim okay. Stahl. They've won Pulitzer Prizes, Stay regional prizes, long. and the prize for best in show for journalism. That's the Boston Bugle, matters. the most reliable in all the Holding Commonwealth. Buy a subscription today. Just why? What do you think of my new back, Coach? It's made from genuine birch. It doesn't matter. And it did it's a good made job on that, right? Or steel. Unless you build some muscle, you'll be swinging a wet newspaper for the rest of your life. But I don't have the jeans for it. My family's always been on the skinny side. Kid, who needs jeans when you have buff out? Buff out? What's that? It's a vitamin, just like the chewables you eat with your breakfast. Only buff out isn't just a nutritional supplement. 
It also increases your strength and reflexes with absolutely zero side effects. If it's a vitamin, then why do I need a prescription for it? That is a question for the bureaucrats in office. But pharmacists and doctors agree that Buff Out will not only increase your batting average on the field, but off the field as well. You mean I can score with the ladies just like a real major leaguer? That's right. After all, Buff Out is the exact same supplement you'll find in every big league locker room. So, talk to your doctor and have him prescribe you a bottle today. Buff Out, the number one recommended vitamin for fabulous. children and adults. And now, a message from our sponsors. What a beautiful day. A carefree, happy day. One that you'll want to relive again and again. You can try remembering this day on your own, but for some reason, you can't piece it all together. You can try drawing it, but let's face it, you're hardly an artist. You can try going back to the same spot with the same people, only to find nightmares. that you're older, crankier, and the entire world. area has been bombarded with Just nuclear missiles. Why? In fact, these days, there's only one way to save a perfect summer day. It's with pictures. Use Kodak cameras to save all your best days, because it will only get worse from here. <laughs> it will only get worse from here. Man, I am really not dropping enough weight. What's that burning up the road? Is it a wildfire? Nuclear fallout? No, it's the new Chrysler's Corvega Atomic V8. The fastest automotive vehicle ever built. And what makes the Corvega faster than any other car? Why, it's the fins! These stylish tail fins aren't just for show. They're the exact same fins you'll find on ships NASA engineers for space flight. What does that have to do with automobiles? Nothing, if you're talking about the cars produced by our competitors. But the Corvega isn't just a car. It's a giant leap forward, delivered by a company with the know-how and ingenuity to reach for the moon, just like America. Crisis, America's number one producer of nuclear-powered automobiles. Food scientists! And inquiring minds want to know, what makes cram so delicious? Let's ask Sam Smith over at the Bugle. Well, I'm afraid I don't have an answer. According to my sources, it's some kind of pink meat. All signs would point to a pig being the culprit, but I've tried pork, and it doesn't taste half as good as cram. Well, Sam, I nightmares. suppose the mystery continues. Why don't we ask a local housewife, Lynn Beasley, Just what she thinks? Why? You want to know what's inside cram? To be honest, I have no idea. I'm just glad it saves me time, and the children love it. But aren't you worried about the nutritional content? I never thought about that. Is it unhealthy? Of course not. Cram uses all natural ingredients that are then processed and filled with preservatives to ensure lasting flavor. You see, even Mother Nature needs a little help in the kitchen Actually, yeah, every now and then. While we may never know what's inside bag. a box of cram, I think we can all agree that the taste is no mystery. Cram. It's mm -mm good. Here's some coffee, dear. <laughs> oh my, was it too hot? No, honey, it was perfect. The perfect murder weapon. If I didn't know any better, you were trying to kill me with this bland, bitter coffee. And in my book, that makes you an accessory to murder. It's not my fault, dear. I followed the directions on the can. That's the problem. Coffee doesn't come from a can. It comes from beans. And you'd know that if you ever been to a cup of joe. A cup of joe? What's that? It's a restaurant where they serve nothing but the richest, mountain-grown coffee you've ever tasted. Come on, I'll show you. This really is good. Because it's from mountain beans, not grown in a lab and packed in some piece of tin like this instant stuff. You're right. Instant coffee sounds dangerous. 
Maybe we should call the police. Way ahead of you, honey. Way ahead of you. I just can't shake these nightmares. Yeah, right, corpse cabin, finally. <laughs> just why? Hey, you ever wonder where a cup of joe gets their name? There's actually two theories. It might be a portmanteau. Gesundheit. No, that wasn't a sneeze. A portmanteau is a conflation of two words. In this case, Joe is a combination of Java and Mocha. That makes sense. What's the other theory? Well, because coffee's for ordinary Joes, it makes sense that that's what they call their favorite beverage, Joe. But my name's Landon Christopherson. Does that mean What's I can't that enjoy the smooth, great taste of Joe's? Name. Well, Landon, I have to admit your name is kind of ridiculous. You should really it's consider like changing man. it. But as long as you were born here in America, I don't see a problem with you having a cup. Oh, good. We don't want some good for nothing pinko drinking our coffee anyway. One of these days I'll fight the Mothman. Cup of Joe really win. is the all American Colombian coffee. Unless I already did and I just don't remember. It's quite likely. He he'll show up every now and then while you're just wandering. Hi, I'm broadcaster Joe Miller. Yeah, but every time I've tried attacking him, he fucking poofs. Pretty sure it was the Mothman that was doing that. But they didn't become champions. Yeah, he'll poof and then he'll appear somewhere oh, no. around you. They practice nearby. strict abstinence and ate three square meals a day. Now you might be asking, Joe. Where on earth can I get religious absolution and a side of fries for the same low price as a hot dog at a game? Well, for religion, you can try your local pastor, but for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I recommend Dot's Diner. That's Dot's Diner, the number one stop for burgers, milkshakes, and all-American cuisine. Take it from me, Joe Miller, the voice of your favorite baseball team. You eat anywhere else, and your prospects in life will be going, going... God. Check this. Distract him. Stash the rest of the supplies. Jump in the other crate. Pray to God I survive. Find one anyone one from 76. Kill Zax. Maybe you're unhappy with your physical appearance and feel powerless to change you. Well, good news. Need more Listener. materials to keep building Lowell's its shelter. That. Wood, he steel, screws, gears, copper. Have a bald spot or an oddly shaped forehead? Our stylish fedoras will cover oh. that up nicely. Oh. At Fallon's department store, we offer all this and more. And that so you can dress for the body you want and not the one you have. Mr. and Mrs. Braxton, my name is Willem Keller. I represent a group of brave men and women whom you may wish to meet. Are you afraid In the years of since our new lives began, many of us have shopper, begun to lose be. things That's we once took for granted. Our skin, our face, an old voice. Most painfully, each of us have lived to see our friends and loved ones really die around us. It's been 20 years, like no one garbage. should have to suffer in the loneliness of fear. You are not alone. Actresses, showgirls, bikini models. Prefer Fallon's to all other department stores. And uh, you if you are interested why. in meeting a group of your neighbors, of the beholder, um, but not if the beholder that's a weird way of putting it. Your neighbors have Fallon gathered to the, the east, we've been contacted by a larger community, like our living in the capital. Wait, a larger community like ours living in the capital. Apparently, the city was hit hard. But they say a society is a beginning to grow. Um, we are considering. Fallon's department store is the place to go, with multiple locations throughout the greater Boston area. Fallon's is always there when you need it. Clean, close, convenient clothing. Be sure to visit our flagship store in West Roxbury, now carrying our entire line of merchandise. Alright, if I was gonna stash some shit, where would I put it? Probably the doghouse. Everybody knows that people love the taste of fancy lads. They're a big delight in every bite. As for how big, well, just ask Uncle Ricky. His love of lads knows no bounds. Fancy lads snack cakes, that is. 
Oh, After all, great. Ricky's desire for sweet, tasty delights is completely independent of his love of other things, like the young men he teaches at the nearby community college. That's right. He loves those lads like they were his own wife. And by lads, we mean snacks, of course. Fancy lads. A big delight in every bite. Where there's just math in there. That's definitely a vent, though. It's every girl's fantasy to have a pony of their own. They want one big enough to ride to school, with a mate they can brush, a smile they can love, and hind legs that can accelerate from zero to sixty in two point five seconds. Well, that fantasy has become a reality with Giddy Up Buttercup by Wilson. This life-size mechanical pony is the ultimate in equestrian robotics, featuring the same high-end hydraulics used in professional rodeo bowls. Your child will love brushing its authentic mane, genetically engineered oh, it's from to Vault 51. And starting next week, the Giddy Up Buttercup can be yours for the low, low price of $15,999. But supplies are limited, so reserve one today and turn your girl's dreams into a dream come true. Oh, that's not a grenade. Oh, no. <laughs> Here at GP Headquarters, we pride ourselves on being on the cutting edge of cuisine and convenience. Our scientists were the first to introduce the canned cheeseburger, as well as the slightly less popular bottled lobster. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you the newest innovation in fast food technology, the Greasy Prospector Meat Machine Gun. Made in partnership with the good folks at the Defense Department, this military-grade fully automatic meat dispenser is perfect for lunch on the go. With an yeah, average RPM of 45 snaps. pellets per second. Say, ah, uh, Junior. Uh. Mm -hmm. That sounds delicious. Because here at GP, we don't just make food. We make food for our future. For breakfast, it's pancakes and sausages. For lunch, it's a sandwich in a box. For dinner, it's your wife's homemade chicken pot pie. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Every meal is as different as night and day. There's only one thing they all have in common. The after meal cigarette. To make sure yours is as slow and easy as a tortoise. Great that tortoise famous cigarette. Oh, so I guess that wasn't a, a uh to a well balanced vent. Meal. Mm -hmm. That's stupid. <laughs> I thought and it was now, a vent. An important Instead, it was a liquid nitrogen dispenser. <laughs> we at Great Tortoise Cigarettes realize children can be so negatively affected was, like, an by underground tobacco advertising. Thing. That's why our company has decided to suspend the use of Tommy Tortoise in future campaigns. Children will no longer be able to wear Tommy's sleek leather jackets or his signature tortoise shell sunglasses. Nor will they be able to watch the Tommy Tortoise cartoons. Our company recognizes Tommy's good looks and laid-back attitude made him a role model to today's youth, when in truth, children should be modeling their behavior and fashion choices after their parents. That's why, starting today, we're launching a new anti-smoking campaign. If you want to be hip and cool, don't be like Tommy Tortoise, Humphrey Bogart, or Lauren McCall, three people who love the smooth, great taste of gray tortoise cigarettes. Be like your parents instead. There's no mistaking it. The smell of gray tortoise cigarettes is a natural aphrodisiac. The kind that drives women wild. But what if you are not a smoker? Or what if you're in a restaurant where cigarettes aren't allowed? Now she's bored, yawning, and making eyes at the waiter. There's only one way to keep her interested and keep you smelling like a man. Gray tortoise cologne. In every bottle, you'll find the same rich tobacco odors you'll find in every gray tortoise cigarette. Just one spray, and you'll have her on your lap, unable to control her nicotine cravings. In fact, she'll be hopelessly addicted to you. Gray tortoise cologne. That same great cigarette smell in a bottle.
This is a man who smokes gray tortoise cigarettes. What kind of a man is he? I'm the type of man who likes to work on my car. I like to take it apart and put it back together. I get to working on it and forget where I am. What time it is. Enough points. Sometimes I forget to eat. The points? You don't forget to smoke though, do you? I never forget to smoke. I might forget other things like picking up my son from soccer practice or turning off the stove. But I never forget to smoke. That's because you're a man's man. A grey tortoise man. You don't let parental responsibilities or a combustible gas leak get between you and a job well done. Why don't you have a smoke right now? You've more than earned it. Grey tortoise. Famous cigarettes. Now with a flip top box. Button Gwinnett. You know him as an American statesman. One of the signatories of the Declaration of Independence. He was the president of Georgia. A saint of freedom. And a man of his word. And now he's a beer. Gwinnett Beer. The only brew made from hops as fine and patriotic as Button himself. Ah. Now that's the taste of freedom. I don't understand. If it's happened once, it's happened a million times before. You walk into an establishment, ask the attendant to show you the fine mix, when a poor person brushes up beside you and asks, how much? As if they could possibly afford the very luxuries you worked your entire life to inherit. All you want is a place to shop for fine art, handsome furnishings, and the cutting edge of modern fashion, without having to discern who is a customer and who is to help. So if you're looking for a shopping experience that's classy and sophisticated, then look no further than Haymarket Mall. Haymarket Mall. For the finer things in life. If you're in need of your own personal robot, put her on a budget. Head on down to Hester's Consumer Robotics. We've got Mr. Hanson from General Atomics. Scooter Predict Trump from Robkill. We've got used robots, refurbished robots, and have finished prototypes at huge discounts. Whether you're a small business owner or an overworked housewife, Hester's has the robot for you. I don't know. The last Mr. Handy I bought nearly took Billy's arm off. Rest assured, ma'am, our robots have all been tested to meet our personal safety standards. We promise not a single loss of life or limb what or does? your money back. And starting this month, we're also offering complimentary funeral arrangements early. with every purchase. Oh. You mean if Billy died, I get a full refund and you'll cover yeah, the cost? Yeah, the gals rifle kind of sucks. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> All that charge and so all that stuff to just for it to barely today. even hurt the super. Robot helpers on a budget. Hmm. It's like a one inch diameter battery going through you, except it's not a battery, it's just a chunk of metal. Like tungsten. Hello, right, right through your little I'm super Peggy mutant Martin, body. <laughs> and I'm absolutely thrilled to tell you the news that women today are happier and luckier than they've ever been. And it's all thanks to the Watts brand Hot Plate, the world's first and finest portable gas grill. You've heard about it, I'm sure, through its best advertisement, the woman who owns one. That's because having a hot plate means a happy husband and... A happy husband needs a happy home. All I've been getting is compliments for my food ever since I got my Watts brand hot plate. In fact, I've started cooking eight meals a day just so I can get more of them. This sort of reaction is typical. In fact, we just finished talking with millions of women all over the country, and 99% of them recommend the Watts brand hot plate to 100% of their yeah, friends and that. relatives. I'll be back. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the Watts brand hot plate makes the things you cook more delicious. Watts Contemporary Fry Guide shows the correct temperature for preparing all your favorite dishes. 
taking out all the thinking and planning most housewives aren't equipped for. Just dial the hot plate to the correct temperature, and you'll have eggs and bacon that are perfect every time. On top of that, it's water steel. That means no more electrocutions or trips to the hospital for you or your loved ones. So buy the new controlled heat hot plate by Watts today. The best in electrical appliances made. Hey you! Tired of the same old food in the can? Joe Spock eats off his bread sandwiches made right before your eyes. The way you want them! And not the way your wife makes them. God damn it! That's way too much mustard, Susan. We've been over this a thousand times. Meanwhile, over at Joe Spucky's, every topping, sauce, and ingredient is made to your exact specifications. That's because only Joe knows the three key ingredients that go into every spuchadella. Freshness, flavor, and fantastic service. So try it on over to Joe's today. Okay, I couldn't find a jacket, but I did find my robe. That'll do. I was like, it's thick. <laughs> yeah, like, my arms are now warm. It's all that matters. My arms are freaking freezing. Yes, indeed, my fellow Americans, it is up to you. Of course, the choice seems rather simple when you compare the two options before you. My artillery on the one hand, loading. you can leave our country like in the minutes. hands of an old man who Bastards. thinks Elvis is the name of an Irish saint, and would struggle to spell the word cat if you didn't spot him the C and the T. Or on the other hand, you can elect the man who directed, cast, and produce the jingle you heard at the start of this campaign spot. A jingle whose production required leadership, ingenuity, and a keen eye for talent. Of course, if the jingle didn't sell you on why I, Thomas Kennedy, should be your next president, then perhaps what I'm about to say will. Unlike my opponent, Mr. Washington, I wasn't born in the previous century, or with a silver spoon in my mouth. In fact, as heir to an ice cream conglomerate, I prefer to use the small wooden spoons found in every cup of our signature Rocky Road. And as a business owner, I understand the issues that face Damn, mom and pop stores like the one in your town. That's why if you vote for me, my first act as president will be to lower the payroll tax, as well as provide free ice cream coupons for every household in America. But ultimately, I can only present the options. The choice is yours. My first thought Washington was, man, or you're Kennedy. fat, and then my second Past thought was, nah, you're present. right, I want ice cream too. China or America. No, like, I haven't had ice cream in forever, so lately it's I've been really, really wanting ice cream, and then the ad just was like, Rocky Road, and I was like, yeah, Rocky Road. <laughs> Rocky Road sounds good. <laughs> in business, she's pleasant to have around. Yeah, I can't in remember. Public, it has to be a, at least six party. months since I've had ice in cream. Private, that special young man thinks she's perfection. But what he doesn't know is she wasn't always this way. That's right. She's who she is because she's smart. She uses the Laser Grafter Home Plastic Surgery Kit for that natural, seamless beauty. Laser Grafter, the industry leader in new age cosmetics. All these bodies everywhere because it wasn't me. I didn't even get here yet. 
There's even a body in the shitter. Overdue reunion achievement unlocked. Holy crap! There's an overseer. She has a body. Oh, thank God you're here. She's what? not just creepy fucking just radio so recordings you. for you know nine months. Let's talk downstairs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As this place is, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. I can't see your stuff. Oh, I can steal your stuff. <laughs> Gotta take that combat knife. Don't want you stabbing me. So I can't look at a terminal. Oh no, I took her toilet paper. <laughs> Quantum. Some rad roach meats.
Alright, just, you know, realistically, how? How did you guys dig this place out? Let me introduce you to Davenport. Unless I was already here. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Reconnaissance? <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Oh, so good to meet you. The overseer has been so excited to see everyone again. Once you've equated yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. Okay. It's good to see you, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it done? The bar owner? Wasn't easy hauling them all the way to AVR Medical. And boy, do they love talking. I've got some plans to make this whole thing easier, but we need to get you taken care of first. So, did you finish it? The inoculation? I forget what the inoculation is because it's been like four years. Uh, it's good to see you too. Can't we catch I owe up? You a sit down, but <laughs> I need to discuss this first. The inoculation was quick. the thing we did with Once the uh, board, we can what catch remained of the Brotherhood research that you might have. we basically now, just the made an inoculation for the scorched it? virus. Oh, that. Okay, yeah. You're lucky I'm even here. Don't start making I'm not... I'm trying to make sure you're okay. That's my number one priority right now. For all of you. So please, you need to tell me. Is the inoculation finished? Well, Tech never prepared us for this. I know. Believe me, I know. But we can't focus on what other people could have done. We have to focus on us. Our future. Okay. Yeah, I got the inoculation. Good, because we're going to need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. Mm -hmm. As long as I don't start seeing a scorched and power armor, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> They're not from 76. They're not a problem. Sure, I guess I'll talk to them. I knew I could count on you. I'll work on finding a way to make enough of the inoculation for everyone. You just get them all to agree. Just take everyone to AVR. We can't rely on that old hospital holding out indefinitely. There's only one machine. It's a dangerous location. The list goes on. Okay, what do we know about them? Judging by the architecture... The ones to the north are the old Raider Pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might, uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting or, or whatever their word is for we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. I'm not going to mention the fucking vault tech movies, you fucking nerd. <laughs> it's like the movies that they remember how to make friends from the vault tech training. Thank you. Really. It's good to have my vault family around again. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out. Just be careful out there.
like that they never implemented a stealing feature in this game, so I can actually steal from all the NPCs and it just refreshes their stuff and it respawns. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Why can't I interact with Davenport? This is bullshit. It's all over the crime. Riding the waves on his chariot of whales. As the guardian of the ocean, he knew everything there is to know about fish. And absolutely nothing about energy. So why would you trust Poseidon Energy to power your home when you can harness the state-of-the-art nuclear fuel provided by the people at Mass Fusion? Mass Fusion, because the name says it all. It's summertime and the children are burning energy fast. There's the Johnson's boy, Timmy, playing football in the park. And Sally, practicing her backstroke in the pool. You keep that up, Sally, and you're going to be an Olympic medalist one day. But where's your child? Maybe he's like Eric Talk over here. Rooms. Clumsy and overweight, locked in his room reading comic books. Shame on you, Eric. That's no way to spend the summer. Sorry. Lucky for you, there's a cure. The new revitalizing tonic by MedTech. It contains vital nutrients that will help your child gain more pep and muscle, even enough to steal a few touchdowns from that overachieving Johnson boy. Shoo, Timmy. This is Eric's time to shine. Not only does MedTech's revitalizing tonic contain all essential vitamins and nutrients key to building strong bones and muscle, it tastes like lollipops. Mm-mm, good. So start your child on a daily dose of MedTech's revitalizing tonic right now. It's guaranteed to turn your couch potato into a star quarterback in seven days for your money back. Hey, Chip, you head to the bowling alley after school? Oh, I can't, Roxy. I got an algebra test tomorrow. I really got to study for. That's a shame. The entire cheer squad's going to be there. It's going to be real for us. Say, Roxy, how is it to join you there after study? Back in grade school, you want someone in a sack of potatoes. Not to mention all the uh, concussions you saw for playing football. That was the old rock before I discovered Mentex. Mentex? What's that? Some high prep class? <laughs> oh, Chip. You know when you got dead in one of those. No, nah, Mentex is a drug. It makes you smarter, funnier, and comes in four great flavors. Yeah, have a taste. Wow, I feel smart already. But isn't this wrong? Mr. Kapowski says there's no shortcuts to success. Sounds like Mr. Kapowski didn't take his mentads this morning. Cause that's just about the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Mentads, brains when you need it. So you can party when you don't. Still alive. How am I still alive? It's an old story. A man is in need of a life surgery. Hey, hey, hey. He visits the local hospital for help, only to find the chief physician has wobbly hey, hey. eyes and an obvious drinking habit. As a result, not only does the surgery fail, Come on, don't be out of range. man wakes up oh, wait. to find He's his toes are seen and covered in vodka. Nobody can see it. Even his head has been served on the back. Alright, you know what? Why is it like one in six rounds? That every surgery is performed in safety procedure made possible by a robot. Furthermore, every nurse, doctor, and emergency technician has been programmed with a Lego company chip to provide the genuine care and selflessness human doctors try desperately to face. Visitors at Milton General Hospital, the only hospital 
percentage of their human empathy with robotic precision. It's been said that a dog is man's best friend. Well, let's re-examine that theory, shall we? Does a best friend leave excrement all over your yard or rub his privates on your leg? Does a best friend demand you feed him, walk him, and throw him sticks, <clears throat> when clearly the only one getting anything out of this relationship is him? No, true friendship is mutually beneficial. A real best friend will tell you a joke when you're feeling down, or bake you a cake on your birthday. He doesn't dirty the floors, he sweeps them. And he greets your arrival with a sharp tongue, not a slobbering one. It's time we ask for more from a friendship. Gen Hello, Appalachia! This is your deadly neighborhood raider, Rose, and I'm back in business. Now, I know it can be lonely out there, but I'm here to keep things interesting. If you miss the explosions, mayhem, and pure chaos of the early days after the bombs dropped, then I'm here to help. Stay tuned! That's funny. That's one place to put it, I guess. Okay. If you're interested in joining the baddest gang of outlaws in the can't wasteland, sell these things. Can't buy me at the top of the world. If I use the Gauss rifle that I made and turned into a legendary, I can one shot. If I headshot while sneaking a legendary uh, super mutant overlord, it will one shot kill it. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Wait, so I can exchange all these, but. There's nothing bad about one shot killing a legendary. Available in exchange yeah. for village. I think that's a good thing. Village. Loot. Available in exchange for caps. As for the weather, we're looking at scattered rad storms in the forecast, so cancel those weekend picnic plans. This next tip is for all of you people out there who aren't made of metal or aren't already full of bikes, scorched, mutated, or who knows what else. At a hard day of killing and looting, don't want to call it back yourself. Sell it to you. Your robot be smart and carry protection. Pop some rad X and you'll be good to go in all but the most radioactive situations. If not, any large dosage of recreational chems will do in a pinch. You'll be so messed up, you won't care that your skin's melting away. Previously owned loot. For sale, mostly blood free. Mostly blood free. <laughs> Before you die a horribly painful death. This has been Rose with another helpful survival tip. Please don't stab other customers while they shop.
Reminder, any attempted five-finger discounts will be reclaimed and paid for with said fingers. I'll be sure to find a way to thank you. Of course, don't get your hopes up. What do you think I'm loaded up here? Just ready to give out presents like I'm Santa Claus or something? I like that she admits she's a robot now. Everyone is dead out there. You've got to take what you can get. Just be glad I'm not out there murdering you too. <laughs> yeah. Where did you go? Seems so weird to me. Do you have a plane ticket? 
Talking crap about you again, David. This time I'm gonna record them so you can hear it yourself. I'm realizing that these are the OG spawns of this torch. And even though they're human NPC, even bandits now, this place doesn't really have anything. There's just those five guys I killed to be. Hmm. It should be over here too, killing these Scorched. Make sure they don't come in here. But I feel like that would be too smart. to get in touch with the raiders your plan worked raiders are back like there was any doubt i knew it wouldn't be long once i got the signal boosted every minute of every hour flattery will get you everywhere i knew there were reasons i let you live You just get me in touch with you. Well, 
Well, seeing as how you're such a nice person, I think I could pull off a little favor. That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. Alright, I'm back. Just had to check a track. Yeah, that's who you're playing. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which, I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. What do you mean David's emotional? Surprised? Sure, he may have killed and maimed a few people. But that doesn't mean he ain't got feelings. I'm pretty sure that's how this whole memorial thing came about. A trophy. Yeah, just some old thing Rosalind made for David when they made him leader. You know, sappy romantic stuff. Ever since then, it's been like his own symbol of power. Okay. And where's there more? Yeah, about that. David sort of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He thought the others would think he'd gone soft. And, well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. Gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Trash the bad people share, but the bad people share to know. The good people realize that dead people don't matter. Not high up on my list of things to do. I'm just here to keep them coming. Besides, I'm cutthroat for life. And I got my little buddy here to keep me company. Oh, buddy. The moral of the story is be a writer, because everyone else is a writer. This will always be home. I can't leave top of the world. I'd be like betraying David, and we both know that'll never happen. Also, I may have pissed off Meg once or twice back in the day. I mean, probably more, but who's counting, right? Besides, I got the best view in town, and I'm pretty sure that white crap blowing around in the valley would be hell on my filters. I feel like I need to educate you some more about all the Kims out there. If I don't, I don't know what to bring me when I ask for it. After calling the Raiders back, you don't want to lead them? Lead? Thinking about that responsibility makes me twitch. I got the band back together to watch, not to manage the tour. Plus, now that they're pouring in, you can bet Appalachia just got a whole lot more entertaining. And I got the best seat in the house. That's cool. Well, duh. I mean, when it comes to being a raider, I'm sort of the best there is, so that's a no-brainer. Maybe they'd come here. Doubtful. Meg's probably keen on carving out her own territory, and the crater does look pretty sweet, minus all that powdery white crap. Eh, this will always be cutthroat territory to her anyway, and no one wants a hand me down. All right. <sighs> Back I'm to business. Go. Just how I like it. Ready to hop on that trophy and AI program? Alright, let's do it. Ah, I knew I could count on you! And I swear, this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. Out about us. Oh, come on. 
I want to make a recording of us. You said you were going to ditch that old hag when we got back anyway. <laughs> Fine, but it goes with you when we leave. And you need to promise to destroy it if word ever gets out Heard this us. one. I have too much to lose in a divorce, and leaving evidence like that laying around will only make it worse. Aw, oh, don't be an old stick in the mud. No one's gonna find out. Pinky swear. Oh, uh, hey, Rosalind's who Rose is based on. Uh, yeah, yeah, what do you want? Day tripper? Help yourself. Uh, just don't take too much. Don't, uh, get addicted. Yes, sir. Input received, sir. Awaiting orders. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I get it. You're not a robot. I know you don't like it when I order you around like that. You're my darling Rose. Don't want anything bad to happen to you. Oh, baby, you going all soft on me now? <laughs> you know I love ya. Mwah! Hey, do you want to hit the slopes, or do you maybe have something else in mind? <laughs> all right, you little minx. Now you really have to turn off the recorder. Trying to blow up limbs, it's just not working that well. Seven. Hmm. If available, points to equip that card. What points? I don't even see anything other than this.
Ben came up with that instead. Whatever, don't mind me. I've been doing a lot of camps. I want to let you all in on a little secret. There's a reason why I'm alive and no one else is. They all sucked. <laughs> Not all of them were losers, I guess. Some of the writers were cool. So, of course, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say they were all bad. But I'm here and they're not, so you figure it out. I was the only one smart enough to survive and not succumb to radiation or starvation. Then again, I've got this sweet hideout where no one can touch me. And it used to be pretty boring and lonely out here. But ever since that vault opened, there's an endless stream of entertainment. Honestly, I'm hoping someone out there survives because I've been thinking a lot about starting a brand new Raider game. And we're gonna need some easy pickings when we're back in business. Maybe someone would be willing to help me out and maybe I'd be willing to let said someone live when the Raiders rule again. Maybe not I don't understand, but I'll just scrap those and call it Females of photo taped to the underside of the desk. Oh. trophy. Us cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. And that trophy was the biggest symbol of them all. Nice to see it still in one piece. Hope we can say the same for Rosalind's memorial in that AI program. It's been barely a week since the bombs fell and supplies have become scarce. The former guests at the resort are exploring the feasibility of sending out scavenging groups to hunt down whatever they can find. What's starting to dawn on us is that there will be people outside the resort sending groups of their own. Who knows if they'll be friendly or simply take what they want. Instead of waiting to find out, we've concluded that our goods should be locked up for safekeeping. It's a smart move. And one that will keep our belongings protected until the government rescue teams arrive. It's good to know that there's still some rationality left amongst all this chaos. Hello, Appalachia! This is your deadly neighborhood, 
Mission the Bat Babies. Just walked into a random fucking house and there was just a player in there sitting on the couch. Man's best friend. Reinvent. Yeah. And now for an important public service announcement. It's a question that every mother asks themselves at least once while nursing their child. How soon is too soon? When do I start weaning my child off this bland, unhealthy breast milk and start giving them those sweet, essential sugars found in every bottle of Nuka-Cola? Well, the answer is not soon enough. Laboratory tests over the last few years have proven that babies who start drinking soda during that early formative period have a much higher chance of gaining acceptance and fitting in during those awkward preteen and teen years. Dash so your cams and you found that schedule secluded spot them across the river alley. Of sodas and you spent other that entire night in the stars. Right I've never now. seen you happier. For a Rest in peace, Rosalind. Guaranteed happiness. You may be. This message is brought to you by the Nuka Cola Foundation and the Soda Pop Board of America. Whenever I'm out of town, my girlfriends always ask me, how do I stay so thin? My secret is actually really simple. Nuka Cola Soda has the same amount of calories as your average grapefruit without all the bitter aftertaste of actually eating one. Mm. In fact, the cold, refreshing taste of Nuka Cola really quenches my thirst and keeps me from eating something else that really adds those Am I those really calories. over encumbered a fucking gan? So much energy, when I get a I chance, I'm dumping everything off Not except that I for weapons to, and armor. If I was any thinner, I'd be practically so invisible. Dumb. So if you're like me and don't like going on a lengthy diet, head on over to your local grocery store and buy a bottle of Nuka-Cola today. Your waistline will thank you. We all know how much kids and adults alike love the great taste of Nuka-Cola Classic, Nuka Cherry, and Diet Nuke. And now it's our pleasure to announce to you the latest in soda flavor technology. Nuka-Cola Quantum, with 17 fruit flavors blended together with that signature cola taste. Nuka-Cola is a perfect soft drink for all occasions. With its new strontium additive, it's got that unique kick that'll keep you feeling fresh and radiant. Whether it's for a day at the job, or a night on the town. Nuka-Cola Quantum. Twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. I'd like to build a world you can wall. furnish it with love. Grow mushroom trees and atomic leaves and quantum Don't get angry. Bill's having a tough Here time. He's upset. Check Emotionally item. upset. Thank Just like a baby. Well, he should be. Us. The man's over 40 years old. I realize that, but he can't help it. He's mentally ill. In his heart. Oh, gave me. How true that cool. is. People who overreact to minor situations may be emotionally ill. It's not because they want to be. It's because they have to be. But remember... These people can be saved. Sometimes it comes in the form of a sympathetic ear. 
or general human kindness. Other times, it comes in the form of professional help, like therapy or a mental institution. When that time comes, Parsons State Insane Asylum is here to help. Our technicians are fully trained in the latest mental health techniques to guide your loved ones on the path to wellness. Stop by our facilities and get a tour of the campus today. Does your wife complain of headaches, nausea, or fatigue during that special time? Well, the problem isn't with her. It's with you, Nimno. She's unhappy with your performance, and the best way to cure it is with W.A. Chesterfield's Magic Nighttime Elixir. Every bottle contains 50% ox blood, 50% ground rhino horn, and 100% pure Spanish fly. That's right. That's 200% for twice the virility of any other brand. With just one swig of this potent love-making elixir, you'll have your missus cured of bedtime excuses forever. Remember, men, that's W.A. Chesterfield's magic nighttime elixir. Except no substitutes. And now, a word from our sponsors. Are you suffering from debt and financial trouble? If so, ask your nearby People's Bank for a jar of soothing instant money in the form of a personal loan. Just apply the money directly to the problem area, whether it's your mortgage, the electric bill, or the hole in your wallet, for instant relief from stress, headaches, and crippling poverty. Yes, that's M-O-N-E-Y. And the best place to find it is at the People's Bank, the leading savings and loan institution in the continental United States. Building the perfect home for you and your family takes hard work and dedication. But great home design ideas don't come from hard work or even your head. They come from Picket Fences Magazine. For just $32.99 an issue, you'll have access to the latest advancements in interior decorating and lawn care. Pretty soon, you'll be the envy of all your neighbors. And with our help, you can learn to build a fence so high that you'll never have to see them again. Because your home is your castle. And with Picket Fences, you can make it feel like one. Picket fences. Welcome home. Hmm. Every morning, we at Pinelli's Bakery wake up at the break of dawn, bright and early. In fact, we open our doors before most customers open their eyes. We're heating the ovens, kneading the dough, making sure that every muffin, pastry, and loaf of bread is warm and fresh by the time you arrive. Most people don't think twice about it. They've just come to expect that we'll be there, with a smile on our face, no matter how many times you angrily berate us. And that's okay, because in the food service industry, we understand there's no room for basic human decency. At Pinelli's Bakery, we're here to serve you. everyone can afford their own bomb shelter. And even if you have one, there's no guarantee you can reach that shelter should nuclear fallout come to your city. That's why at Pulaski Preservation Services, we're in the process of building coin-operated, single-unit fallout shelters throughout the greater metropolitan area. To use one of our state-of-the-art booths, simply place the correct change into the coin slot Enter the chamber and wait for the titanium door to close behind you. Rest assured that once closed, the door will remain completely sealed, keeping you safe from all the Johnny-come-latelys attempting to claw their way inside. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. You're gonna have to find your own shelter. This one's taken. Once the radiation subsides, simply press the button to open the door and begin the task of rebuilding civilization. Because at Pulowski, we're about preserving our future. And that future begins with you. I still got alien blaster rounds. So it seems like the Honey, the TV's on the fritz again. Did you try kicking it? 
I've tried kicking it, shooting it, and even tossing it in the microwave. And the fact is, I think it's cooked. Well, don't worry. I heard the Radiation King is coming to a city near us. Sweetie, can you keep your voice down? You can't support a monarchy in this day and age. The neighbors might think we're anti-American. <laughs> oh, sugar cakes. The Radiation King isn't a monarch. He's just the king of electronics. They have a king for that? Well, when you offer three different types of TV sets, as well as ham radios and jukeboxes at rock bottom prices, there's no title to go more appropriate. Alone. But what does it's radiation have to do with to electronics? Go in You'll groups. just have to read the cash it's label for that. Just Let's just say the next time you need an X-ray, we might not so need to go to the doctor. We can just use the big screen. A big screen? Do you mean it? Oh yes. I'm talking 16 inches. We might not even have enough space, but we'll have more than enough money thanks to the Radiation King. When is this jukebox going to stop eating my quarters? It's really annoying. Well, have you thought about buying your own jukebox? My leash? Is that you? Oh yeah. I'm the king, baby. The king of radiation. And starting this Friday, I'm offering 20% off on all juke and jobs at participant stores. Wow, 20%? But those savings are so hot, they're practically radioactive. They're a hunk of burning love, kid. But your grace, is it true what they say about radiation levels emitted by your products? That's what someone I can legally answer, Daddy-o. But let me ask you this. Did you know that there's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol? I didn't know that. Are you saying that your radiation is the good kind? I'm heavily inclined. Now head on over to my store, you dig? And get yourself a jukebox. Well, I guess I can't go there anymore. Eh, probably. Or at least I could fast travel. Wait, what? How am I still over encumbered? What am I possibly carrying, game? Red Racer tires are known for their everything. performance I'm and durability, still overweight. but a good set of tires is about far more than mileage. Jesus. Not when your wife has to drive alone. Shoot, ammo. Pedestrians, lane changes, intermittent rain, these may seem like trivial hazards to you, an experienced driver. But when your significant other is behind the wheel, even the most ordinary of obstacles is a tragedy waiting to happen. <laughs> tires are about more than mileage. Make sure she's in good hands with Red Racer. Red Racer, the leader in automotive parts and performance. Ever seen a stock car race? You'll find the zips and the fleas, the Chrysler's Corvages, all zooming along at speeds deemed unsafe for civilian roads. Not unsafe for you, of course, but for your engine. So how do these fast cats manage to accelerate at such speeds without breaking down? Well, here at Daytona, I know they're leaving tracks. They all run on Red Rocket Gasoline. What are limits? With Red Rocket Gasoline, you'll be able to drive without them. Free from all the wear and tear brought on by other leading brands. You can treat residential areas like your own personal freeway. And knowing those pesky street signs no longer apply. What street signs? The sky's the limit. After all, you're no longer driving a car. You're taking off on a rocket. Red rocket gasoline. Drive in, fly out. You're just about out of gas, but the nearest red rocket is miles away. What do you do? Oh, it makes no difference. Just fill me up with the high octane gas. Same as red rocket premium. Wrong! Don't make the octane mistake. There are 21 megatane ratings that go into every gallon of gas, and Red Rocket rates the highest Silver in 20 of 21 categories not tainted by European metrics. And the higher your megatane rating, the better your motor will run. Sure, you won't notice the difference, but your car will feel younger, last longer, and have enough energy to keep you warm on those cold winter nights. These hey, weapons are pretty, pretty fucking ride. heavy. Red Rocket Gasoline, because she's worth it. 10, 3, 6, 20, 4. In class, it's not so bad. 14, but when school's out and the others leave to enjoy themselves, well, 
if you're what yeah, they call a shy guy, that that's much, when you so really I feel understand. it. The awkwardness of being left out and lonely. Now, you could try working on your social skills and, and developing the traits necessary, necessary to function check. in an increasingly communal society. But why do yep. that when you can just purchase so Robco's new soulmate series of animatronic robots? Each machine is specially designed money. to stimulate real human contact, responding to commands varying from Do you love me? to Does Robco's warranty extend to damage caused by passionate lovemaking? The answer to both is a resounding maybe. So try Robco's soulmate series of animatronic robots today and never feel lonely again. Yeah, the cumbersome. They say the best cigars the come off. from Cuba. But do you know who else smoked like the Cuban fact that cigars? I can't just unload Joseph everything into Stalin, the stashes. Fidel garbage. Castro and Benedict Arnold. Which means Cuban cigars are the preferred things? choice of communists uh. and traitors. Cut that out. But if you want a great cigar that's made in America, there's only uh. one brand that what? does the job. San Francisco <laughs> Sunlights. Light up a cigar and light up your life. You need more than that, buddy. Uh, my favorite arm. After a hard day's work, nothing beats a night at the pub. What if I won to lottery? Wouldn't that be better? Well, technically, yes, but what are your chances of winning that? I'd say you'd have more luck convincing a pastor to steal. But you got to play to win. You know, I can't do that if I'm too busy drinking. Oh, for Christ's sake, somebody in my door, lad! Really? And what? I don't give my endorsements to just any old pub, you know. It's all the Shamrock Tap House, you mutt. Authentic Irish beer, daily drink specials, the finest domestic and European beer, whiskey and liquors on the raft. Oh, you mean to Shamrock Tap House? I like that place. Of course you do, you practically live there. So come on down to the Shamrock for good times, good friends, and great deals. You can bet your pint, oh, Ian O'Brien will be there too. That's cool. Donuts and coffee. The two of them go together like chocolate and roses. Cram and indigestion, boredom, and baseball. Like a cold breeze on a summer day, coffee and donuts are a match made in heaven. And if you want the best of both, there's only one place to get it. So comes Joe. Because some things in life go better together. At the Slocum's Joe Roasting House in Boston, Massachusetts, something special is brewing. Here, a new blend of coffee is being brewed in secret with beans from the mountains of Colombia, Nicaragua, and Detroit. For the launch of this new blend, minor league pitcher Connor Affleck visited with Rosemaster Kim Welsh to see how it's made. When they told me I was getting a cup of coffee, I thought I was being called up to the majors. I called my family and they were going to fly in from Oklahoma. It's been 12 years. 12 long years. And I thought I was finally going to the show. Take Even it. if it was just for a cup of coffee. That's what we make here. Coffee. It was supposed to be an analogy. Nope, it's actually coffee. Nope, it's just coffee. I think coffee, I'm gonna sorry. cry. Coffee is very complex, Connor. There are about a thousand aroma and flavor compounds all told. Of course, you can't taste all of them, but you can taste a lot. Yeah? How many can you taste? Right now, just one. Coffee. But I'm still working on the others. I just want to go home. As you can see, these coffee samples all taste great individually, but what makes Slocum's show special is the blend. Mm. This is the stuff the big leaguers the drink in every things? clubhouse. Squirrels? Big leaguers just like Connor over like here. Legitimately Slocum's job, Ugh. the coffee house that taste builds. They look all fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, they're like hairless and shit and super long and lanky looking, like cats. Did you know at Slocum's Joe you can get a large coffee and a jelly donut for only $30? $30? You're yanking my chain. I'm telling the Ooh, truth. Ooh, so that's where he's been hiding it. And that memorial ain't too shabby, especially since it's David we're talking about here. So now you'll have to repair that hollow tape, and there's only one place I can think of that may still have a functioning terminal to do it. It's out at Solomon's Pond. I know, I know, you're thinking, 
What's tech like that doing out in such a cutesy little wilderness place? Let's just say some seriously intrusive operations went down there, so I'm pretty sure it's got just what we need. <laughs> okay, that's not so far. I don't have to keep fast traveling around. See, like in Fallout 4, I never had a fast travel. This shit is just so annoying to get anywhere that I'm getting, like, miffed. Because it's like, all right, you just did this quest here. Now go all the way across the map. And I'm like, oh, go fuck yourself. Fast travel. <laughs> like, especially if I'm over-encumbered anyways, one way or another. It's just so frustrating. Because I'm like, look, man, I already can barely sprint. <laughs> Sasquatch thing. Like inside of you, why aren't you getting hit? There we go. Back to swimming. Yeah. 
Oh wait, I'm about to die. Haha, <laughs> you thought, bitch. Like nine stim packs right in my guts. <laughs> Can't kill me. Immortal. I'm the jerk, ah, bitch. Yeah, I'm the jerk, bitch. <laughs> I think that was the first movie where I looked at someone and I'm like, Haha, your head looks like a penis. Like it's the first movie or something where the word dickhead made perfect sense. Well, the thing is, I'm carrying a two-handed hammer, you know, where it's like, I have range, but it doesn't give me the range. This should easily be winning. That was a long ass fight. Oh, it was empty. I like how I go to look away from something and my perk that puts food into them is like, hey, there's food now in there because you looked at it. Yeah. I love it just because of the fact that it's like online, it has that little bit of delay so that when you look yeah, in something, it was you always go, there's like, nothing oh. there. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't nothing there. I go to look away and it's just like, ding. <laughs> Second thought, there are things here.
one. You bunch of bastards. My god, the controls are so annoying. As I mentioned, those floater enemies are just fucking annoying in general. Hit the shit out of them. There's like eight of them. Yeah. That's what makes them so fucking annoying. But why do I have to reload again? Were you not just reloading while I was in the menu or something? Come on. Why does this minigun sound like that? This sounds so bad. with the chainsaw to start with. Jeez. Bunch of bastards. Yeah, I had to be here for a quest thing, and it's just like, how is anyone supposed to take on like seven or more of those things? With more people. I mean, maybe, but still, annoying. Yeah, those, those, that's what's so fucking annoying is they always, they, they're always grouped up like that. There's always so many of them. Every other time I fought them, it's like one, maybe two. And then right there, it was like eight, two legendaries and something like that, like... <laughs> ah, the fuck you bunch. Shit. They were there specifically to fuck with me. No other reason. Oh look, somewhere to scrap my shit. Sheep squash, that's what it's called.
And if you don't like jelly, there's over 50 different flavors to choose from. Wait, I want to go back. You're saying I can get a large coffee and a jelly donut for only $30? That's right. And it's not some special promotion. The price won't change in a week. Nope. You go today, tomorrow, even next year, and the price will be the same. $30. That's incredible! I think I have $30 just lying around in my couch cushions. And there's no better place to spend it than at Slocum's Joe. The only place to start your morning. Well, I didn't want these idiots leave their password lying around. Hi, my name is Bill Sherman, CEO of Prescott Pharmaceuticals. And I'm here to tell you about an exciting new product called Sprayo. It's a nasal spray that provides yeah, immediate relief done. for hay fever, runny oh, nose, and itchy eyes. So I can leave. One just come up your nose back. and it's like sending oh, your sinuses okay. to sunny that Arizona. Far. Far away the way that thing was looking, I was like, that's on the other side of the mountain. Of course, <laughs> oh, hi. So breathe free and easy with Sprayo. You'll feel like your sinuses are in a better state. <laughs> you like that, you feral piece of crap? Attention, everyone. For a limited time only. In every box of Spring Valley Potato Crisps, better. give an offer for a free moon map. That's right, with Spring Valley Crisps, you or your child can be the envy of aspiring astronauts everywhere. Remember, the free moon map offer is found only in specially marked boxes of Spring Valley Potato Crisps. Spring Valley Potato Crisps, the snacks so light and fresh, they're out of this world. Spring Valley potato crisps are so light, so crisp, that it's impossible to eat just one. You can eat a hundred. You can eat a million. You can eat nothing but potato crisps from now Wait, isn't until he the from day the DLC? your chest explodes from heart 4? failure. Who? But you'll uh, never neat. be able to eat just uh, one. Uh, Agent Kensington. Don't take our word for it. Ask the food He's from the one where uh, you run into the old British school that used to be a spy. That's why we at Spring Valley oh, yeah. are working hard to make sure a, every store in your neighborhood name, is fully stocked at all times. That way you can finish every last crisp, secure in the knowledge that you'll never have to eat anything else. Spring Valley potato crisps, because you can never eat just one. Who talked to Rose? What time is it? Jangles! I can't seem to find the sugar bombs! <laughs> what do you mean we're all out? We packed over 40 boxes for this trip! How in earth's a major am I going to stop the Zedachronian invasion on an empty to go to stomach? Bed. Yeah, it's going to be about 25. I ain't good to take a nap. <laughs> are you holding out on me? Getting freaking tired. Oh, Jangles! You stupid primate! Bananas are for monkeys! Sugar bombs are for kids! And adults, and possibly your pets. Oh, he's going to bed as soon as he gets home too, now give too it much. Here. No, like, I had to That's do some right. stuff Not earlier to clean out my car. Like oh. So, I didn't go to bed for like two, three hours because so I was behind the times of when I was supposed bomb. to be. But, the like, tomorrow I should be perfectly cereal. fine. Mm. That's why I'm like, I'm going to take like a two, three hour nap because I'm freaking tired. Like, I woke up, like, three times, like, phone calls and stuff Attention like that. I'm just like, I just want to sleep. Can everyone just leave me alone until tomorrow? For all our space fleet members. <laughs> Remember, in order to decipher the secret message found at the end of every episode, you'll need a special decoder ring contained in every box of sugar bombs. Keep in mind, the failure to decode a message will not only make you a loser unworthy of space fleet, but as far as I'm concerned, you'll be dead to me. Don't forget, Sugar Bombs is not only the official breakfast of the Space Fleet Command, our personnel rely on it for energy, strength, and rocket power. Oh, that's right. So eat Sugar Bombs every Man. day and fuel your future. Attention, Space Cadets. Here's an urgent message for Secret Squadron members. B U. T T Z. I repeat. What? B U T T Z. Over. Here's a message. Now to decode it. How do you it's do that? Dangerous to I go can't show alone. You because you're not a it's member of the secret squad. Dangerous squatting, to go. Only members group. get the new silver dark tears. Can girls join too? Yes, they can. 
But in your Stop. case, Judy, I'm going to make an exception. Yeah. But to all other children who aren't Judy, you're welcome to join Space Fleet Squadron You and I are thinking of doing the same just thing and just dumping all of our known recipes and plans on Sarah when and she finally decides join, to play. You'll get a membership card and a you already had everything. As well as like, I tried that. <laughs> on Sarah? Yes. Oh, wait, not Sarah. Sorry. Um, who am I thinking of? Panda. Sorry, Panda. Yeah, fucker. Came in like, oh, let's play five minutes. Fucking 200 and something. Jerk. This vendor unit is equipped with anti-theft measures. Don't get any ideas. Yeah, I'm gonna do this last event and then uh, head off to bed. Remember that time you tried to bake the perfect cake for your husband? And remember how the grocer didn't have the strawberries he liked, so you ended up topping it with cherries instead? And remember how you forgot he was allergic to cherries, and he ended up hospitalized for over a week? Well, that was some disaster. But it wasn't your fault. It was the fault of your grocer. That's why we recommend you shop at Super Duper Mart. Our shelves are always stocked with the freshest fruits and vegetables, as well as all the ingredients you need to bake a cake or cook your next meal. That's because, as your grocer, we feel responsible for the health and well-being of your family, almost as if we were a part of it. Of course, the Super Duper Mart isn't just a grocer. From food to electronics, gardening supplies to home decor, Super Duper Mart has it all. And now, you can too. Super Duper Mart. For all your shopping needs. Oh, kebab. Hmm. Still need a way to break down these fucking. Man, I really wish superheroes were real. Actually, Clara, superheroes are real. Really, Mama? You mean there's heroes out there saving the sea like the Silver Shroud? <laughs> Not quite, dear. In real life, superheroes are corporations, like the Super Duper Mart. Can the Super Duper Mart kill bad guys with its deadly shroud? No, but it's got everything I need to cook your dinner. The gardening tools I use to grow these carrots, the broth I'm using for the soup, as well as the stove I'm using to cook them, all came from one place. Can you guess where? The Super Duper Mart? That's right. They really saved Mommy's day. And her bacon. Wow, it saved breakfast too? The Super Duper Mart is the bestest hero ever. It certainly is. Alright, sort the job. Holy cow, Tropic Man, is it really you? It's me, all right. Get down here, protecting the city of Boston. And what's that you got in your hand then? Some kind of secret weapon? Why, yes, actually. It's my favorite antifreeze in the world, Supra Tha Premium. It's completely winterproof, so not even a cold night like this can stop me from doing my nightly patrol. Is that what you're doing in the red light district? Hunting for bad guys? Yeah, you also yeah. gotta make sure that you have those perks that reduce the weight of things that you are choosing to carry. What was that? You should also make sure that you uh, have the perks that reduce the weights of things that you're carrying. Like ballistic ammo and uh... I was gonna say, I only have like one <laughs> or two. The packs just aren't dropping them for me. I have the one for junk. Which makes anything Good that's God. junk, but would have been below the I locked you up. Yes. So it's like point did. one. But I escaped. And I have been floating my revenge ever there. since. And you know how revenge is best served? Cool. Yes, I'm familiar with the phrase. And what deviously icy plan have you chilled up this time? Why, I've turned your car into an ice box. And with your engine in shambles, you won't be making it home tonight. And when you're late for work tomorrow, everyone will know your secret. And I do not meet the cape this time. Ha! Ah, you silly little man. Do you think I wouldn't be prepared for such a scenario? All right, you're back. Just when I was starting to get bored, too. Hope you managed to repair that old holotape. 
As usual, so reliable. I love it. I gotta admit, I've got some pretty mixed feelings on tapping into all these blocked files. I can't really tell what's I'm the sure new voice lines and what's the old ones. Off. On my mm -hmm. other, I'm pretty sure this would be a whole new world of entertainment for me. Because one definitely sounds like she's at home, <laughs> and you can hear the echo of the room she's using. And the other one sounds like studio quality. <laughs> but it's still, you know, whatever got to work, you know. 2020 was rough. Yeah. Just scan the words you need, avoid the extra badge. Take it all. She thought she was done with her lines, and then... They pulled it they back in. To, now, <laughs> they decided to pull her back in. The fucking game needed more content because the players weren't happy. Dude, there was like nothing to do before. Oh my god, talk about some serious drama here. This is some depressing shit. I mean, I knew David never got to say goodbye, but he really did hide what he went through. <sighs> all right you must have loved her very much he made you after all you really should talk about Ugh, it. like a soap opera on overdrive you know boring stuff that no one cares about okay she lie be lie you're lucky i don't have a charisma of eight because i would make you But I have perception at four. David was an interesting guy. He loved his wife and kids as much as he loved Rosalind, so losing them in the war wasn't easy. Rosalind helped him through that, so when he lost her, that was just about the end of the world for him. Hmm. Never talk about Obviously, this with you? he talked about it with me, silly. He just didn't want me to remember, so blocked off all those memories. That's why I needed that program, to access those sealed off conversations. Okay, so how do you move on? And by creating a yours truly, of course. <laughs> oh, and blowing the shit out of the Summersville Dam. <laughs> Who doesn't love some good old fashioned revenge, right? run some filters a little arts and crafts and <gasps> are you kidding me all this data and i don't have the one word i was looking for <sighs> okay hate to break it to you but i need you to go back out there and find me just one more eaty teaty weedy hollow tape best bet is arctos pharma david's old corporate stooge job I need you to find me a hollow tape with David saying the word negotiate. <laughs> negotiate? All right. I'm on it. My hero. Now get out there and don't so get So you're going to make killed. sure that he seems still alive, Did I guess. Did I just say that? <laughs> it makes me feel like a mom. <laughs> no, it can't be. That's right. I put Supra Thaw Antifreeze in this engine, which means lasting protection from extreme conditions. Conditions like the blast from your frost ray. Damn you, Tropic Man! Damn you, and equatorial temperatures from now until the end of time! Don't damn me. Damn the good folks at Supra Thaw. Their antifreeze really saved the day, and it can save you too. You were telling me about that article on tooth decay. That's right, Mrs. Carson. Leading scientists reported the same research. Cleaning teeth right after eating. The Superdent way stops tooth decay best. And while they didn't mention Superdent dental cream by name, by the end of this conversation, it'll be clear to everyone that's the brand they're referring to. I'm not so sure I know what that means. It's called classical conditioning, Lucy. Don't worry, you don't need to understand it. Just know that I'm a dentist with a clean, healthy smile, and I'm holding a bottle of Superdent toothpaste in my hand. Your brain will associate the two naturally. But if you like, I can explain it another way. You like superheroes, don't you? Well, Superdent toothpaste fights tooth decay the same way the unstoppables fight crime. 
That's right. Your teeth can be as strong as Grognak, or as smooth as the Silver Shroud, so long as you use Superdent Toothpaste. So when we say Superdent Toothpaste is for the little superhero in your life, we mean it. That goes for you too, Mrs. Carson. Try brushing the Superdent way today. starts when stray food particles get trapped in your teeth, producing decay bacteria. These bacteria produce acids that eat away at your smile, turning handsome Harry into an unlikable sloth. Meanwhile, Cutie Katie, having first tried a competing brand, found brushing to be a chore due to its bitter medicine aftertaste. As a result, she has no idea her once fresh, minty breath now smells like a swamp. But once they switched to Superdent, they not only found cleaner breath, cleaner taste, and cleaner teeth. Oh, God. They also found true what the hell? love. So switch to Superdent toothpaste today. Because three ways clean is always clean. All right. Have your old ways, girl and boy. Fresh three ways clean to sure. both enjoy. That's cleaner breath, cleaner taste, cleaner teeth. Three ways clean is always clean. Even after the bombs. Appalachia is still beautiful. Even after the bombs. Why do you all Appalachia look? All you settlers look like Rope fucking coursers from the Institute. I'm trying to find the right place to settle down. Under the sands of time, the tomb of King Tut, found at Luxor. Keep your eye out for danger. Like you guys look like bots. <laughs> Nobody actually dresses like that. Even I don't. And now, for one week only. You can discover the greatest treasure of them all before it too is sealed away for all time. Come and see the treasure to end old treasures, an archaeological wonder of the world, right here in Boston. Witness the one and only treasures of Jamaica Plain. And remember, this stunning exhibit will be on display for one week and one week only. So don't miss your chance. Buy a ticket today. Drama, comedy, and sports. All at the turn of a dime. If you want the best in entertainment, the only place to find it is in front of a Universal Electric Black Daylight Television Set. That's right, with this television, you'll get black of blacks and white of whites, helping your eyes segregate the colors on screen better than any other brand. The cabinet has been slaved over by America's finest craftsmen and features a brown mahogany finish that has been hand whipped and varnished for lasting durability. Despite being a separate piece <laughs> this of whole ad for this TV, TV or room. whatever it is, all at a much lower cost to you. It's a TV. Don't own a universal electric television today, or better contrast, and a better Oh my experience. god, that's such a massive dog whistle. Don't worry, it's brown mahogany that's been whipped and. <laughs> It'll help your eyes segregate the School colors. <laughs> and some of the Jesus. boys want to go to the vacant lot to play catch. Not today, fellas, Gary tells them. I've got to be home before dark. Gary's got a lot on his mind, you see. Not only is his book report due next week, but the communists might invade America, and he doesn't know an ounce of Chinese. Don't worry, Gary. You won't have to translate that report into Mandarin anytime soon. That's because nuclear fallout will annihilate your school long before you ever set foot in it. Not to worry. While your school will be turned to dust, you and your family will be safe and secure in your government-issued vault from Vault Tech. Every vault resident is pre-screened and selected to ensure maximum compatibility. 
Inside, you'll find people who share your ideals, values, and sometimes even your looks. That's not another you, Gary, but it very well could be. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, those not the Gary the vault. vacant lot, the only ball they'll be catching are the ones falling out of their eye sockets. That's not another you, Don't Gary. Let your <laughs> children end up like these boys. Make sure they're like Gary and contact your local vault tech representative today. Waking up is never fun. You're tired and groggy. You hate your job, your marriage is in shambles, and you have a sneaking suspicion your children are drug addicts. Why would anyone in your position want to get up and play out such a miserable existence? Fortunately for you, the Wake Master alarm clock is so loud, so infuriatingly noisy, that you'll have no choice but to get out of bed and run three miles just to get the ringing out of your ears. With its password encrypted snooze button, this precise, state-of-the-art alarm clock will never fail to wake you up, saving you and your family from your own existential dread. The Wake Master alarm clock, now in three colors, platinum, yellow, and lime green. I never liked taxes. Dreaming of ways to make America great again. I hated the word. You might say I was allergic to the very idea of them. And yes, I recognize that in a country like France, where taxes were invented, the politicians bow to the almighty tax man like some kind of pagan god. Just like they bowed to the Nazis. But here in the States, we know them Tied to be to the a Nazis. poison, sucking the life out yeah, of hard fuck working the French. Americans like <laughs> you and me. Luckily, it wasn't long before I found the answer. Those darn fact, frogs. <laughs> I guess you can say it was staring me right in the face. I'm talking losing France in like of my three weeks. But President of the United States. Now, my opponent, Mr. Kennedy, insists that his plan to cut taxes is far bolder than mine. In his stump speech, he says that he'll not only eliminate the payroll tax, the capital gains tax, and the sales tax, he also promises to reduce the income tax by 75%. Well, that's a start, but let me ask you this. What would the world be like today if we only gave 75%? What if baseball has only ran 75% of the bases? What if your carpenter only built 75% of your roof? What if our boys in the military killed only 75% of the enemy when they stormed the beach at Normandy? Why, the world would look a lot different today. I promise you that. So, if you want to live in a country where half the men are cowards and the other half speak German, then yes. Half the men are cowards, the other half speaks Mr. German. Kennedy, <laughs> but if you're a proud, God-fearing American, then vote for me, Samuel A. Washington. I promise to cut 100% of your taxes from the day I step into office. As God and this cherry tree are my witness, I will do whatever it takes. I will give my full effort, and I will never this country short. The Ocana song funny. Junior, wake up, it's time for school. Now, isn't that just like a teenager? You knock and knock, but you can't wake him up. So you decide to open the door when, uh-oh. He knows better than that. Stains all over those clean white sheets. And you have to wash it. Thankfully, there's Washo's magic whitener for all those tough, hard to clean stains. The other leading suds rely on harsh bleaches that can damage your clothing. But Washo leaves everything feeling as soft as it is clean. How, you ask? Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you oh, and use Washo to clean up the bloodstains. Because whether you're a homemaker or a hitman, 
With Washo, there's magic in every box. A buzzer sounds. Heavy iron jaws open slowly. The gangster-proof barrier is down, and the car slips into this dark alley, carrying more bills than a cash register. Could it be the sweet little Jenny from accounting balance books for the mob? Ah, uh, not to worry. There's nothing sinister here. No, this is merely a new kind of service offered by Weatherby Savings and Loan. No more parking. No more waiting in line. Whether you come in a car, carriage, or military vessel, rest assured, you never have to leave the comfort of your vehicle. Why, this is banking on wheels, and just look how the money rolls in. Whether be savings and loan, with our new drive-in service, you'll never get stuck in a line again. Yo, this is Boss Man Blake here telling you about Wicked Shipping, the best baddest and fastest shipping company in all the commonwealth. Got cargo that needs to be in Springfield by tomorrow? Our fleet will be there wicked fast, with better service and friendly drivers who are more reliable than bread on a spucky. Don't go with them other chowder heads. Go with Boston's own wicked shipping for all your transport needs. How strong is Wonder Glue? Why, it's strong enough to glue this man's head to the base of the Brooklyn Bridge. In fact, Wonder Glue can bond just about anything, from plastics to rubbers to metals to wood. There's no drips, no clogs, and no fuss. Just squeeze and apply. And how's our friend on the bridge doing? Well, it appears his body has detached from his neck. But look, his scalp is still there, stuck to the base of the bridge, just where we left it. That's because Wonder Glue's patented adhesive is guaranteed to last, no matter the situation. Wonder Glue. It works wonders. Isn't the chicken lucky that eggs are the shape they are? Why, imagine if that egg was shaped like a square. Or worse yet, a banana. That would be a cruel joke indeed. And aren't you lucky that yum yum deviled eggs are the same? Dude's massive. Perfectly round and contoured. You can have it. Each egg is hard boiled to perfection and stuffed with generous helpings of mayonnaise, salt, and mustard. From the hen to the yum yum dairy case, they're kept fresh all the way. So they're grade A all the way. Just look at how happy Mother Hen is to see her children. Seasoned and ready to eat. Right out of the box. And she knows they're guaranteed fresh because of the label. After all, who but Yum Yum sells eggs even a chicken could love. Nobody. Why is Saddle Up Salisbury Steak America's most popular Salisbury Steak? Two of the reasons are flavor and creaminess. No other Salisbury Steak has Saddle Up's rich, creamy texture. No other Salisbury steak offers an official sticker on the package, proof of its smoothness. In a nationwide study of thousands of citizens with normal digestive tracts, noted steak specialists reported not a single case of irritable bowel, internal bleeding, or indigestion due to consumption of Saddle Up Salisbury steak. Taste for yourself, and you'll be the next to realize why Saddle Up Salisbury steak is the leading manufactured steak product in America and lead sales of all other factory-made Salisbury steak products by millions of barrels per year. Try it in a gelatin mold or alongside a lovely spoonful of salt. Saddle up Salisbury steak. The premium I steak with flavor in the entire world. The official sticker on the box. The sticker guarantees quality Salisbury steak. All right. This broadcast is brought to you by Wonder Glue, the one-of-a-kind adhesive you can use to fix anything. Broken vases, cups, ceramics, and even robots. In fact, the scientists in Bosco have helped us with a demonstration. Alright folks, these terms are ridiculous. Their parts reassembled with glue. Protectron 1 had his parts attached with industrial strength Wonder Glue. No, that's actually the first one. With our least competitive How are you feeling, Protectron 1? Do your machine parts feel securely attached? I feel wonderful. Since they take away 30% of well, the profits, we're that. set to gain. You sound like you're ready to patrol the streets again. And what about you, Protectron 2? 
Ready to get out there and defend Appalachia? Come on, Gator. We need Bob to wrap up this deal. It seems Protectron Partners are getting impatient. Doesn't have the same there has to be room that for Protectron negotiation. One has. Oh dear. He's just I'll be the one who says when it's time to negotiate. At least he's in a better Our place partners now. Are only impatient. Clean this up, will you, number one? Yes, more than sir. Us. You just hope yes, we don't realize it. Well, so there go back you to your desk. Two out of two protectrons agree. Or I'll find someone else. If you're looking for a powerful adhesive at an affordable cost, look no further than Wonder Glue. It works wonders. We found what we're looking for, but I am really tired, so I'm gonna jump off. <sighs> all right. I hope you all had fun. I know I did. Me and Dragon Life, you know, <laughs> wasn't really around. I think he was off doing um, events and stuff. But anyways, it was good. I had fun. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. That advice for today for sure is going to be uh, make sure you actually get plenty of uninterrupted sleep. I got interrupted like seven times this morning. Like, that sucked. <laughs> So I'll be back tomorrow with more. Uh, we're going to start at the same time, so five hours ago. So that was 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, feel free to come by um, and show your love. Thank you, by the way, for all of the new love and support on YouTube and whatnot. I've been getting a lot of good stuff over there. Uh, if you're not already checking that out, you know where to find those sort of links. It's always down below. And if you're over here on YouTube where I stream live, welcome anyways that's gonna be it for me it's been beard later